So, last time on the Dynamics of Good and Evil, the crew got themselves hospitable at the Veiled Keep, courtesy of Dirk, the uh, hospitality manager. He set everyone up with a room. Uh, Rania went off to interact with his Lord Lady Owl. Uh, he got charged for his minutes. And then he interacted with Bundle and, uh, and Dash briefly in the in the bathhouse, and Fell discovered a whole set of books. <laughs> the, adventure, the adventures of Nancy Druid: How to yeah. Kill a Manticore of My Spoken Men. And both <laughs> versions. <laughs> and both versions of Dash can pass the fuck out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Dash again with the sleepy boy. Yep. So the morning comes about, you guys think. At least uh, in your rooms, there's like a lighting system that just strobes slightly when it when it seems like it's a wake up call. So everyone lies in their soft cushiness, and it's like bring, bring, bring up above. It's like uh, uh. No, time to go to work. Fell's like, I slept for three hours. I can't sleep. <laughs> well, yeah, I think I need to introduce you to the sleep berries. Ah, uh, she's insane. But. So, yeah, I guess we all get up and convene yeah, in the lobby. Yeah, yeah, get up, get ready, convene in the lobby. Well, I should hope so. Me too. Manu wakes up from his um, his beanbag chair that he slept on. He can figure out where the bed was. Takes a shower and then uh, gets dressed and sets out uh, into the lobby. He uses druidcraft to make himself a shower because it's still a bath. Oh yes, I knew that. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just a little pink rain cloud. <laughs> How do you guys sleep? Surprisingly, I slept like a rock. Is that good or bad? G good. I, <laughs> I, sl I slept really good. Good to know. You up sleep. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Brad, if Bundle's gonna be typing, you should probably take down that theater of the mind screen. Yeah, when, when, sorry about that. Uh, I was, uh, building a character in RPG Tinker. One sec. Uh, oh, okay. Well, for those who cannot read at the moment, Bundle's fur looks particularly cleaner. We can be narrators. Yeah, look at a little bit more gray than usual, bundle. Okay. Yeah, he looks good. I hear him! Jesus. <gasps> Alright. Yay! We should look into getting you a brush, Brundle. Brundle? I would really, really like that. Yeah, and in term, if that's how we're describing Dash, Dash looks a little less old blood on him, so that's, that's the bag, a thing. The bags under Fell's eyes look a little less heavy. Or yeah. baggy. Okay, I'm, I can't help but imagine what? Dash has just been covered in weak, weak old blood this whole time. Renya walks over to Dash again and sniffs him. Can I help you, Renya? You don't smell like death anymore. Uh, give give me a day. They'll probably change. Yeah, I kind of miss it. Where's Dirk? Uh, you guys meet up in the lobby. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you guys wake up and there. You guys get out there and there's a couple of gnomes just loaming around with their little caps with ear flaps on them, just uh, oh my God. doing uh, basic janitorial work like sweeping and uh, one of the guys actually has like suction cups on his head, on his arms and legs, and is fixing the chandelier. 
Why are you watching the gnomes? And as you guys silently stare, there's a light tapping at the desk, and you hear. <clears throat> we guess we we'll, dash looks yeah, that yeah. way. Yeah, so that's well. There's oh, hello. there's Hi. there's Dirk in what looks like an exquisite like formal uniform of sorts. Looks almost like a like a red coat sort of like look. He's got his uh his long his now unfurled long hair longer than you thought it was all unfurled in his back and he's got like glass beads woven in and out of it. You look Ooh. like you're, you look very, very formal. Mhm. Mm well, anyway, today we are going to uh, just wait for Miss Cellier to come by and uh, get you ready to meet Miss Isley. Oh, I hope you guys don't piss her off. Wow, I hope you don't. Should we dress up for this? Well, if if you if you have some uh, formal wear that you wear to impress I do people, not. that. That would be nice, but if not, she understands. She's she's dealt with many a people. Just if you Red. are, um, you remember that thing I was. You are cutting in and out. You remember that um, um uh, uh, that piece of clothing I was working on for a while now. Sure. Can that be done? The one you haven't been mentioning to me during the game for the past eight sessions. I have, but you've been ignoring me. And disadvantage. I haven't been ignoring you. You haven't brought it up at all. And not since before the zombie holder encounter. I'm pretty sure I have. Mm, I yeah. Maybe we can roll for it. Okay, roll a d20, Ron. You're fine. Uh, that's twelve. Um, it's it has a bit of a way to go, but it's in a shapely manner, I guess. It resembles the thing you're looking for, but you still feel like it needs a bit more work. Eh. I was like, oh yeah, I have fancy clothes, and then remembers what happened to them. Yeah. Oh well. Never mind then. I can probably go change into my other set of clothes real quick, which is more than just pants. Bumble thinks for a second and says, uh, all I have other than my common clothes are my, you know, my clothes that I wear when I'm on stage. Pretty sure that's not going to help you. Yeah. Well, I guess we just play the waiting game then. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, just hope you, yeah, if you have good stuff to wear, that would be nice, but otherwise, it's, uh, it's perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Uh, she, she is very understanding, usually, as long as you're, uh, as long as you're, uh, courteous to her. Well, we do try to not to get on people's nerves. Good, I good. I imagine we're fucking dead if we're rude anyway, so... Depends, honestly. Safe than sorry. I mean, I don't think we've killed anybody recently. Then again, we haven't had many re any visitors recently outside of the uh, the royal procession. But they they were okay enough. Quick question for you, there, Dirk. Any chance we can get some food in us since we just woke up? Oh yeah, sure. And oh yeah, needing to eat is a thing. Yeah, he. Uh, <laughs> Claps his hands, and uh, a couple gnomes spring out of like a swinging door in the wall with uh, a big old cauldron of spiced spiced apple porridge and uh, some uh, links of sausages. Ah, yum! Apple uh, porridge. Definitely mm. digging into that. Yeah, dig in. This yeah. looks absolutely divine. Yeah, the porridge could be. Uh, uh, you guys take a bite out of it. It's like, it's a bit thin at some points, but the, then you find the chunks of apple. It's like, ah, there's the good stuff, and it's actually pretty good, but it's like, uh, and the sausages are a bit charred, but, you know, that's, that brings out some more flavor in it, some of you guys think. 
Why don't you just eat some good berries? <laughs> oh. And you also out of a good berry to fell, or rather a better berry to fell, Yona. Fell, if all uh, takes out her um, her single berry, berry. Uh, si- single <laughs> her single b- uh, better berry. Oh, uh, don't worry, I got one. Okay. So you have Are one you- better berry. I have one better berry in on my person at this moment. Uh, okay. So I have. I she also have seven. I still have seven better berries, not including my two spares. How are you feeling, by the way, Feliana? Uh, I feel normal. To be honest, it, I... Insight. I want to try to figure out if her, at least her personality, is back to normal or close to it. Sure. Go ahead. Do, Go do, do, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, that's an eleven. Uh. Fell looks like better. Quotation marks. Question marks. Quotation marks. Quotations. Is her personality back to what I'm used to? Uh, she's she's not quite as distant as before, but she does have some. Uh, yeah, she's got some uh, good old. Uh, just yeah, she just seems uh, centered. Okay. But so her aside from that, her personality is back to what Dash Man is used to. Do. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you still feel like there's something missing, but it's not quite yeah. as as uh, dire, cold as she seemed like a couple like in the underside. Her. Okay. And yeah, Dirk just goes back to uh, his desk and starts uh, folding through crystal pages. Like, there's actually like pages made of crystalline that he's like paging. He's like, da, 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 da. He looks oh. divine. Uh, Dirk, curious question. Mm hmm. Uh, how much of the outside world do you know, if I may ask? Well. I know the Northeast home holds the Doomlands, which are uh, quite uh, the this thing is, to behold. Uh, this is player speaking. You mean Northwest? Northwest, yeah. Yeah, okay. that direction. Okay. Then there's uh, there's uh, the big old big old human city down along the west coast. Uh, I know there's a canyon on the eastern half of the continent, and, uh, yeah, supposedly there are dwarves in the northwest, in the northeast. Supposedly. The reason I'm, the reason I'm asking is because I'm a foreigner and hunting down some not-so-good people. Mm-hmm. So, so I've been trying to gather information. Well, uh, if you're dealing with humanoids and that, like, your best part... Protocols probably Uh, hit red port. Unfortunately, uh, I'm hunting down a cult, a dragonborn cult. Roll something for him. Oh, he knows what you're talking about. He he just, like, he's been staring down his pages the whole time. It's like, dum da dum dum da. Like, eyes look at you. By that look, I assume you know who I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. To make a really long story short, when I was young, they ransacked and just destroyed my tribe and kidnapped all the youths, myself included. Managed to get away, but I've been hunting them down ever since to see if I can save my fellow tribesmen and my sister. Mm-hmm. So, so I've been trying to get all the information I can on them because where I'm from, we have no idea who they are. Mm-hmm. So, would it be alright if I asked you for information on that or no? Um, sure. So, what do you know about them? 
Alright, I, I need to... I rolled first of all to see if he knew of them. Now I gotta see if he knows of them properly. Knows anything other than what we've already learned. Um, yeah, he... He basically says, um, the most that I know of them is that they're separate from the slaver cult, of the, from the slaver group that's going around. Uh, Which hopefully we can take care of them as well. Eh, I guess. Um, no. they, strangely enough, they've been, the only place I haven't heard of them having activity in is Lupland, but I guess they're so tribal that they've got their own things sorted out. Um, but yeah, they've stretched all over the Narthen and the Souther. Um, I even heard them heard rumors of some hanging out in the canyons where supposedly some of your people hang out ghostwise and uh but yeah they're sort of widespread they're sort of this big old organized thing and they're just all looking out for this tiamat's chosen born but uh yeah they're uh, they're quite quite the hazard they are what kind of fight if we were to run into them, what kind of fight would we be looking at? Depends on the group. Um, All right. You're still dealing with a lot of dragon, of dragonborn, and uh, a couple Yanti in there, but also a lot of human yeah. fo humanoid followers. So uh, do I know what do I know what Yanti are? Mm -hmm. Knowledge history. You know what a Yanti is. Okay. Alright. Well, thank you for the information. Uh, if there's a way I can pay it back, let me know. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh. Was Bundle about to say something? No. No. Are you Bundle? Mm. Uh, no, I thought, uh, yeah, I thought you thought about it. Let, let Bundle answer the question. Fine. Well, I was going to say, one, thank you for the food that you have offered us, and as well as letting us know about everything that's going on, in case there's anything that you would like to know about the outside, we have visited quite a few places. Oh! Uh, I had a question, uh, just out of curiosity, I have a, uh, a great uncle who's been wandering around for a while. Do you know Fian? Fian? Yes, actually. Uh, yes, I we do! You have ran into a fiend. Is he still looking as lustrous as usual? Uh, define lustrous. Shiny, silvery. I mean, he's he's a little aged, but yeah. he's still high. Actually, he kind of helped. He kind of helped us out when we were over in uh. As I look at the map, Trut. Yeah, he does that. Yeah. Nice guy. I like yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I have no message to give to him. I just wanted to hear it, see if he's still out and about wrangling those humanoids. Oh, those those people. Wait, 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 wait. Wrangling. wrangling. Hmm? You know, wrangling with them, interacting, uh, social. Oh, oh okay. We, for a second, it sounded like you meant capturing them. Oh, oh no, he hasn't done that for years. Huh? <laughs> oh boy! Come, come again! Oh, you guys remember the? Uh, uh, I want everyone to roll history on that. Well done. A dash disadvantage. I, yeah, I was about to ask when I be a disadvantage. I have not heard at, jack shit. Would any of us be at? Uh, I did that twice. Uh, you would be at advantage. Um, uh, Dang. uh, fell. Thank God! Uh. Oh. I'm trying to roll it, but I won't let me. Ah, uh, shit. Be right back. Oh, oh I no. got it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, 15. That board, 20. Alright, so, fell, oh, Talik, and Bundle. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Rania and, Rania and Dash, you guys like, what? That sounds horrible. Uh, Bundle fell in Talik. You remember about 500, 600 years ago, there was indeed a conflict. A, uh, a, uh, disparity of sorts between the 
elven kind, the dwarven kind, and the human kind, where it almost turned into... It didn't quite turn into an all-out war, but it was very much a uh, measuring contest of sorts and the biggest force to be reckoned with. And uh, for a while, the elves were known for their ability to capture prisoners and just gather them and fill whole, whole underground and skybound prisons with them. <clears throat> Oh. But luckily it ended without much bloodshed. It was more just, like I said, a measuring contest. Like, we're the most powerful. No, we're the most powerful. We're clearly the most powerful, y'all. Look at all our skills. <laughs> okay, what did my 16 get me? He just told you. I had to step away to let the dog out. Basically, you know about a conflict where there was a dick measuring contest between elves, dwarves, and humans. Ah. Where the elves captured a lot of humanoids. Wasn't and... much bloodshed, thankfully. Some of them even grew to like their. Some of them even grew to like their, uh. their, uh, captors. I mean, how's it going? After I all, they probably... we. After all, apparently, we gave. we gave them better food than the, hu than the humanoids themselves. Huh. Yeah, that sounds better than my time in captivity. I was beaten every day for six months straight. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, he he was quite the skilled one. Well, good to know not to get on his bad side then. At least it's over now. One of the shrugs. Yeah, they didn't technically go to into the jungle too often, so my people were kind of apart from that. Fian's probably been in your jungle. Probably. Oh. Da Dash is trying to remember if there were any stories among his tribe of something like that. Yeah, you, you just can't you just can't hit it. It's like that, that, that sounds familiar, but I don't think so. As far as I'm aware, it, I don't think it spread very far east to what you're talking about. Eh. I'm no expert, I just I just read the ancient texts. Also, if I may say, to, uh, say you look absolutely lovely today. Thank you. Well, you look well, you look lovely like yesterday, but today just exclusively. Aw, oh, that's cute. Uh, Yonden. Oh, the little dwarf walks over. Give 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 her a touch of the stuff. Oh, huh? sir. Oh, and God. he just walks over. Uh, pulls like a tray over and it has this big old oaken like a uh, actually a crystalline barrel on it what the fuck he's like would you like some mulberry vinya um it's our special blend <laughs> I'm just trying to find the right words <laughs> uh, bundle um, just kind of nudges her and say it, it's kind of Poor taste to den deny deny someone a, a gift. I wasn't going to den uh, deny them their uh, their gift. I would love uh, love it. Pulls out a little crystalline highball glass and flicks flicks the barrel and outpours this just thick, almost beju bejeweled like potion type mixture where it looks like there's there's like a galaxy of stars, purple and indigo stars just swirling around in it, and he flips okay, it off and he hands it to you. Okay, that's freaking awesome. And she takes it, she looks like a little bit like, wow. And she drinks it. Con save! Here we go! It's time for me save, to die. Save, you say. Save. Come on. Please. Or, or check, Come whatever. On. It's Wait. the same thing for me, but... Uh, okay, but, I was about know. to say, it could be different. No, she's no, not a barbarian. I'm not a barbarian. I'm a bard. Goodbye, pal. <laughs> this thing we didn't uh, you touch the run yet first. See you guys later. Oh! Not bad. That's really good. <laughs> well, that's considering all my other con saves. Damn. You kick back the glass and it slides down your throat. And then hits your stomach and like jumps back around like uh like a like a like a hammer uh like a uh 
like a carnival game where you slam the hammer down to try and ring the bell. It's like, like, boom, ding! It just bounces around and stuff like, whoa. But you feel especially tingly right now. And for that, you have advantage on, on all charisma saves, all charisma checks for the next uh, four in-game hours. That sounds very useful for what we're about to go up against. Considering, yes. But only she knows, and that would be metagaming if you guys try to take advantage of this without asking politely to partake. She, uh, she, uh, she looks at the... Wow, this is amazing! What? You guys, uh, perception checks, everyone else. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! My first ever, dude, my, my first ever good con save. That's persuasion. Okay, bundle in uh, dash. She's, I guess the term would be glowing. I guess Rania and Talik. There are stars like radiating out of her eyes. Whoa. This is amazing! 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 You a little bit of a me. blush going on in both cheeks. Hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> in the, uh... Huh. That does seem like some... Wait, is that more... Is that wine or liquor? Ask, ask Bundle. Hi. Do you ask it's Dirk? Dirk, Dirk yes, or Phil? <laughs> I'm asking Dirk, since he's the one who's, who offered it. Like, what is... Uh, it is Vinya. Uh, forgive me, I'm not quite familiar. Vinya is sort of a traditional fey drink. It is, uh... It is very formal and very rare. It don't, we only make uh, a batch once every hundred years. Wow. Oh my. Well, well, I have to say, it is amazing. I, I can't put it into words. Any chance that... I could partake of some, or would I have to, uh... Sure, would you like to sign, sign on with one of our service plans? <laughs> Good gravy! You know what? And I'll entertain the idea. How long would I be in service to you guys? Well, we have, uh... Well, we can do it by moon cycles or by years. So, if you would like... Let me see. Uh, one... Typically, it would be a hundred-year service deal, but you people don't typically last that long, so... Um, and would we be stuck here within the Veiled Keep? You wouldn't be stuck here. You would be dispatched out to a different... Uh, it's usually, you're dispatched out to a different uh, a fortitude to uh, basically be either custodial or social, uh, or social staff or hospitality or sometimes even just... a. Uh, do some uh, uh, do some running around on diplomacy matters, but uh, it honestly depends on what we need at the time. Uh, I can't. What do we need at this? Time? I don't really know. You got. You might have to bring that up with eyes with Isley when you meet her. And uh, about knock, knock, knock. Oh, hi, Selye. <gasps> Hello, everybody. Mor morning, Selye. Good morning. Kurt, courteous Good morning, nod. Mm-hmm. Oh. I, I give a courteous bow and, re and re retort. Ah, uh, yes. It seems that the um, the uh, high priestess has gained uh, the the word of your arrival spread quickly. Turns out she'd even realized you'd arrive before I got to her. So, uh, she's very anxious to meet with you. She's very curious what you would have to interact with her, since she. Hasn't had to interact with any humanoids since the uh, the royal the royal domestic party about uh, four year. Uh, let me see. That would be forty six moon cycles ago. Hmm. How many moon cycles are in a year? Uh, roughly roughly forty nine or fifty. Oh, huh. Yeah, going by, like, it's standard, where it's a moon cycle from new moon to full moon. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So, uh, moon cycle would be a half a month. <laughs> no, moon cycles is roughly a month. Hmm. Yeah, it's roughly a month. About real close to about 27 to 28 days. Okay. Trust me, I know. <laughs> At this way. 
Alhamdulillah. Yeah. And so yes, it sends where uh, you're on the direct. Bless you, dear. And Thank you're you. you're going to be on the direct line to her today. So um, oh, uh, did did Dirk give you the rundown on formalities? Oh, uh, uh, um, don't be a jackass. Uh, yes, that. But uh, Dirk, did you refuse? Did you not tell them about the addressing situation? Oh, I'm so sorry. We just. I just had to break out the vinya that the vinya. Uh, yeah, yeah, it 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 it, 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 she complimented me. Uh, one looks back and forth between the two of them. Oh come on, not now. And Shell's just like, oh shit. <laughs> well, she's and not she, saying. She doesn't look to. She doesn't look like, to you. She looks to uh, Dirk like. <laughs> Suspicious eyebrow where he's like, You broke out the vinya. It's like, she, she complimented me. That that hasn't happened in at least 170 years. So I treasure those moments. At least, at least 300 moon cycles, at least. Uh, Bundle's gonna interject. I'm sorry, you haven't been complimented in how long? <laughs> I. Oh, well, that's a horribly long time to Oh, the, 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 the Fae are not very big on that. That you are expected to do things without uh, recourse, I believe, is what the humanoids would expect. Well, that's a um. horrible, uh, uh, horrible way to do things. Uh, if you did a good job, you should be complimented for it. Bundle just jabs her in a side. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I... I said what I thought was right. Sorry, this is me out of character say, uh, saying, uh, saying like I'm doing what I think is a good idea. I I know. And Celia, Celia just blinks twice in Dirk's direction. Like, okay. Anyway, um, formalities. Uh, basically, you'll address, you'll address the high priestess as the high priestess. Of there is no first name, last name, basis, you will not refer to her as the Switch, you will not refer to her as Isley, you will refer to her as High Priestess. Of course. Um, secondly, uh, try not to hold direct eye contact for too long, it can be seen as intimidating in some formalities. Um... Uh, polite kneeling would be best for the situation, just like like not averting eye contact, but like occasionally giving eye contact. You know, like when you're making a good public speaking endorsement, just occasionally make eye contact when making points you want to, um, uh, be direct with. Yes, when you want to be direct with a certain point, make eye contact briefly, and then lower the gaze. Um, stay kneeled position. Uh, do not, do not be in a. Do not try and appear confrontatory. Uh, and if, uh, yeah, just be courteous, be kind, and refer to as High Priestess. And uh, uh, please don't touch her wisps. Bondle, at that point, looks directly between Rania and Talik. Wait, why are you looking at me? Because I know both of you have a history of saying things when you don't really need to. Name look me you. He says he's looking at Talik. Well, sorry if, if the truth hurts. Don't deal with it then. The truth can I'm get us killed, Talik. Especially here. So, for, for, Ryan is still munching on sausages. He's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I'm not eating any of the sausages or anything. I'm eating just a. Uh, okay, bread. he's got a big old <laughs> hunk of like good berry skin between his teeth. Like, yeah, what are me for? Oh yeah, I I I, okay. I, I don't think I said I, I ate my better berry. How yeah, about this, as a rule, if you cannot think of something nice to say, don't, don't say, say at all. anything at all. Hey, my mom always tell always say that to me. That she means she me in the back of the head. If the truth isn't nice, Talek, then don't say it. Well, my dad always tell me honesty is the best way to earn respect. No, it's not in this case. And in this case, pure honesty will get us either shot, flogged, or 
killed or yeah. worse and, tortured and, maybe sold is no, saying no, this no 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 we, we won't kill you uh, unless you actively threaten the high priestess uh, basically oh, the worst you can get not. is uh, enforced service still if there's a problem child Dash is looking at Talek still Oh, yeah, sure. Give the paladin the dead look. Uh, all I'm going to say is, if you do anything, and I mean anything, to make it to where that we're on their bad side... Hold on, hold on, I hold on. Here's an idea. Who do we want to speak for us, while the rest of us just keep our tap traps shut, unless asking for something directly? Insane. I... Wouldn't mind speaking, but it's of course up to you guys. I'm. Feliana's prob would probably be the best to be our voice in this situation. No? Yes? I'm okay with that. Bundle shrugs. If need be, I'll interject, but I will. I will. I will think it will be best if we let our. Uh, our flowery one here, do the best word wording. D Dash will look at Celia. Is that okay? Flowery looks look looks at Feliana. Yes, I guess she is. Like narrows her eyes at at the gnomes beside her weaving together a flower flower bonnet. <laughs> is it is it is it fine within within customs and such? To have a designated speaker for us. Well, we encourage freedom of thought and freedom of expression, but uh, yes, with the high priestess, we thought it would be best to warn you. But yeah, if you want to be a designated speaker, that's perfectly fine. The high priestess okay. will not be insulted if you refuse to interact, or although you should at least greet her. We do we do request you all of you at least greet her. Oh, and right. is there, of course. Is there a specific way that we have to greet her? Like, like I said, Neil. Kneel, stay kneeled when addressing her, and uh, keep it brief. Keep all eye contact brief. Uh, problem. Paladin never kneels. They normally stand in a salute to the position. Would that be? Um. Okay? Looks to looks to Dirk. Dirk's like. More service is always welcome. Just kneel, Talik. Uh, kneeling than it is then. Trust me, I know how you feel. Only a pal to holding one hand behind his back. Flashback. Just, uh, uh, just flashback to the one time that, to the one time that that Phil had to persuade Dash. Uh, Dash yes, to <laughs> exactly. Just like Dash, please. Normally, a pal, when the paladin salutes, they oh, that's the most that's the greatest respect that they show. Well, well in in this custom, it is more respectful to Neil. Is what I'm picking up. She is the high priestess. She is not quite god, but more demigod. I believe is the the humanoid term for it. Like she is closest with all the spiritual successions and interactions. So yes, you will kneel, Talek. We do recommend it, unless you prefer enforced service. In which case, feel free what to do as you wish. My God, what's with the slavery with you people? It, da, 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 da. it is not uh, slavery, it is enforced servitude. There technically is a difference. Yes, sir, there is. I'll Either speak way. my mind once we're out of here. That's fine, just do it when we're out of here. <laughs> also, don't disparage her... Uh, don't dispo Unless you wish a quick and permanent that do not disparage her outside of her hearing. Within the keep. Ears. Everywhere. Of oh, of course we won't. She so, she right points guys? she points to a tattoo above her temple of an ear. Oh. So keep any rude things you have to yourself until we are just out of the Feywild. As Talika, uh, as many mothers once said, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Yeah, as soon as I open my big mouth, my mom smacks me in the back of the head for it. A good what analogy, reason? the more I think what about reason? it. She sounds like a wise woman. Either way, <laughs> I'm pretty oh. sure we're, we're good to go. All right. All right. Uh, there's, no, there's no rush. You feel free to finish your meal. Uh, she, she waits patiently, but yeah, perfectly not, wait, not let her wait all day. 
So you can at least finish your meal. No. Let's get to eat and then and Dash will finish his meal as quick as possible. Celia oh, saunters up. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I was just going to say Bundle's pretty much done. He's just playing with his dice to this point. Oh. Okay. One of the gnomes walks over with, like, his own bag. Ah! Uh, you, you play? Mmm! Uh, okay. We can play a few things for the game. You're, you're, you're breaking up? Okay. Can you hear me now? I can hear Bundle. Yeah, yeah, I think it's on his end. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, uh, Bundle just says, uh, well, I guess we could play a few friendly games. Uh, have anything to bet? Tink puts down a tiny gold nugget about the size of, like, a thumb, a thumbnail. Can I insight to see how much that thing weighs? Sure. Uh, sure. That would be intelligence. Intelligence, okay. Funny it sits um, on um, it one of the It could be things. worth a few gold? Maybe more? I didn't quite hear that. Can you say it again? Uh, Talek, are you here? Can you hear? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, make it sure. Uh, it could be worth a few gold? Maybe more? Well, then, Bundle thinks it puts down, puts down five gold. Yes. Now it's... Nah. And he rolls the dice. Alright, I'm going to roll mine and not cheating. <laughs> Alright. Just playing it straight? Uh, just playing it straight. No sleight of hand, okay. Oh wait. Wait, what? What, what do I roll what what do I roll then? Because I thought that's what I had to roll when I'm rolling my dice. Um basically when you're rolling your dice with the loaded feature you'd roll sleight of hand with advantage, but you would have to uh escape their insight roll. But yeah. Just straight sleight of hand, yeah that works. Uh, well, Twenty six <laughs> Yeah, you, you take uh, you take the first round well enough. Like, ah. He pulls out a slightly bigger nugget. Tink! Okay, I match it, putting down ten gold. Ah. Wow, yeah, you, you scoop that up, too. He's like, hmm. Snaps his fingers and walks away. Like, aw, oh, man! Okay, it was a good game, man. So I pick the up a small. Classiest one, and only fell get some. <laughs> <laughs> like basically, put a... down a like a. Oh, sorry. I... <laughs> gold nuggets. Put down three. Three gold nuggets. Okay. Yeah. Like one one size and one another one that's twice its size. So basically, three gold nuggets worth. Okay. So I'm like, yeah, yeah not bad. While we're waiting for everyone to finish, Dash is going to start playing with his uh, Phoenix Company badge. Mm hmm. And Cellier most. Cellier. Okay, go ahead, Fell. I'm sorry, I gotta. Oh, no, uh, oh, no it's okay. Uh, after eating, while waiting for the others, Fell would, would, uh, would like fiddle around with her violin for a second. Like, yeah. <laughs> probably tuning it, probably. Yeah, tuning it, yeah. Yep. Uh, Ranya, you doing any specific uh, mincing? Mm, I'm gonna try uh, uh, casting 20 good berries. Ye you're gonna try casting druidcraft on 20 good berries? Uh huh. Okay, you, you, you cut out in between. You didn't, I didn't hear druidcraft, so okay. Uh, yeah. Sure, Arcana disadvantage. Um. Ranya scratches his chin. No gender this time, right? Uh, less dandruff this time. I done it. <laughs> like it's a few small flakes rather than like, oh god, his skin's actually peeling off underneath his fingers. Ugh! Their head and shoulder shampoo is not the best. Well, no, it just <laughs> it just takes more than one treatment to get it done. <laughs> nope. Oh joy. Uh, is that a oh? That's a seven. Oh, that's joy! What now. Let's see. Now, uh, the lower doesn't exactly mean bad. It's just 
uh, the druid, uh, the, the berries morph and twist, and they come out into ten large berries that are black with white with a single white dot on them. Hmm. I don't know about you, but I don't think I want to try that. Bundle looks over. Did you make more weird berries again? So they're black with a white dot on them. Yeah, they look kind of like uh, like if you zoom in really hard on an inverted domino. Oh. What do I have to do to discern what they do without actually eating them? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh no, you want to try and slipping one into like the coffee of like one of the gnomes? Sure. Nature or arcane? Um, nature or arcane. Nature and arcane? Nature or arcane. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I better at nature. While this is going on, Dash is going to look to Cellier to see what her reaction to this is. Runya scratches to his head. To the what is this? Oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> well, I guess to this. One second. Um, I'm going to answer Dash's question first. Cellier is actually over with, over with Dirk, and she's like looking at him very sternly, like, Finya. Really? None for me, but you give one to this stranger. Oh, I'm uh, gonna insight that. Are they a thing? Uh, oh my. Sure, insight. You know what? Can I do it too? Are they fucking? Kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do this. I gotta see. It. I just. I really, I really want to roll insight, but I'm pretty sure I'm too busy with my berry. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to your berry in one second. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, a felon tell, like, you guys just read that, she's just insulted that she hasn't been able to access the Vinya, but you just walk uh -huh. in out of the blue, and you get some immediately, and she's like, a hundred year batch, and you can offer some to me, the head of the security chieftain? It's like, it's like, what? <laughs> you don't compliment me enough. This <laughs> just so if you compliment me more, maybe you get some more drinks. <laughs> okay, so Rania... Wow. So, I rolled huh. severity, and you're examining it, and you pinch it, and you squirt it right into your eye. It's like, so oh! oh, God! <laughs> oh, there it goes! There it goes! What happened to his eye? Con save. Oh! <laughs> no, I do still have... I do still... My Con God. save. I, I do still have uh, guidance. Con save. Not on this. Whoa! That's a nat one. What? What? With this advantage? Really? Okay. Okay, so it's not painful, <laughs> at least. Okay. So. With advantage, really? Oh. No, I said no guidance. Okay. So I, I do get a 21. Yeah, you. Yeah, okay, so. Um. It squirts in him. He's like, ow! Like. Ah! Now, everyone else, uh, who was watching him? Like, who else is watching? Who's watching Celia and who's watching Rania? I'm watching Celia. I think Bundle's watching Rania. I, I'll be watching Rania. Rania as well. It's like you're watching Celia, Telic. Like. Yeah, then I look back, but uh, damn, I missed the whole thing. You had to take one or the other bed. Run. Uh, I'm looking at Rania. Yes. Okay, Bundle. You notice him start to cry out, but then his voice stops. Uh, but, but he's st but he's still moving. He's still like, like his voice, his mouth, his face and mouth is still a bit contorted. Like ah, ah, like when you squirt something in your eye, like stand like oh Jesus. But there's no sound coming from him. Oh my God, it's a silence, Barry. Oh my God, I knew that rolling low wouldn't be horrible. I but move, I think it'd be this. I okay. Move, I move over to him and uh, poke him on poke him and say, uh, Rania, you, you okay? What Rania, do what do you attempt have... to do? I attempt to speak back. Like, uh, tell him I'm... Uh, I stings a little, but... Now imagine that I've server-muted Rania. That's the response you get. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> like, he's still... He, like, if you can read lips, feel free to try and interpret him, but otherwise, like... like he's, like, nodding and, like, making, like... Like, his lips are still moving, but it's like... Yeah, there's there's nothing. Even Ooh, even the I even he's trying he's when he starts jumping up and down, but there's not even footfalls coming from him. 
No! Oh, Jesus! It's a, it's a silence! Oh my god! So it doesn't make me mute. It silences. Oh my god! These could oh be Oh my god! Good. That okay. is useful for bundle. I hope I win that one on this thing eventually. I <laughs> attempt to tell him that. Okay, look, I cannot hear you, nor are you making any sound. Wait, can I hear me or? Yeah. Okay, I can hear me. So, oh. uh, do I hear bundle? Yes. Okay. Rani right. attempts to speak in the bundle's mind with silent speech. Nope. 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 Nothing Damn. happens. Hold up. What's that too? Wait, I was muted. Uh, like as uh, cast silence on by uh, well, like. I will read this effect. The the drinker or imbiber is muted for. Let me see. I got a roll for this. For four minutes. Whoa. In battle, that's that's deaf to a wizard or a bard. Jesus that, Christ. And think of the stealth checks Bumdol can use. <laughs> <laughs> but if he has but if he has to communicate with anyone during that battle, he's fucked. Until I can get observant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's official. But We're gonna it, kill everything in sight. But anyway, no, after we that. I like Absolutely. how we all, uh, all collectively uh, mani laughed maniacally. <laughs> okay, let bundles talk. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, bundle. Tonberry. At some point, I will get a tonberry. I swear to God, if my druid craft makes an actual creature uh, from these berries. So bundles points uh, to you and puts six paws up. How does he have six paws? Okay, never mind. Six digits. Six <laughs> little kitten fingers. Six six kitten fingers. Hey, his, his art has normal <laughs> ass hands. Six toe beads. I remember the day we asked uh, we asked Bundle, Bundle, do you have toe beads? And you're like, yeah. <laughs> uh, Baranya uh, gives them uh, six of them. Which leaves me at 13. I'm glad I... <laughs> but uh, remember, they combined into 10. Wait, they com... What? They combined? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the There's like a little light management when you cast a spell, and 20 fused into 10. The hell? Okay. Or, um, or 20... Or 10 dissolved, and 10 remained. Uh, okay. Well, that means I have 3. Uh, and uh, Bundle takes six of them. Six uh, kitty beans. Not... Yeah. I still have to figure out what the hell these oh bad God, berries again. do. So, is everyone done eating? I've been, re I've been ready. Ready oh. attempts to speak and nothing happens. <laughs> That's not good. We'll assume he's ready. <laughs> Hold up, yep. can, I, can I roll an arcana check on this real quick? Or, or is it just a nature check? Uh, Arcana. Like yeah, I... he's magically silenced. Oh, he's magically silenced. I don't how? I still don't get how he's able to, like, quiet my silent speech. That's an ability, not a spell. You're silenced. I think anything, any attempt I think it's is... like, I think it's like the Final Fantasy effect of you're silenced. Uh. Six kitty beam. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Celier finally perks up from the, oh, is everyone ready? Fantastic. And, uh... Yeah, I think Rania somehow got silenced. Oh, all the better. Excellent. Follow. <laughs> <laughs> and she exits outside the hall. Like, follow me, please. Yep, follow him. Side note, apparently these things don't have to be digested either. Fo uh, follows. Hold up, faithful. But the real question is, should you feed one to Talek before meeting the High Priestess as a precaution? That Hell might not no. be a bad idea. Rania looks like he's thinking about this real hard. 
Yeah, if you're going to think you one of those things, you better be ready for a fight. Uh, and then, we are, uh, and the, then we are the most friendly of the D crews. <laughs> and then uh, uh, Fel just uh, just hunters up with a very talent <laughs> with her advantage in charisma checks. Are you trying to persuade Talek to eat a berry? Nah, this is just uh, uh, uh nah, this is just uh, out of character. Out of character, yeah. Okay, be right back. I got bringing groceries. Okay. Plus ten. Plus Don't let Rania control advantage. me. Advantage. I can. Uh, uh, I'm all, uh, the only way I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna get messed up in this is, is if I roll double net one, and I'm pretty sure that's kind. Uh, that's kind of possible, but also not possible. I should make a separate inventory sheet for my my berries. And fell. That's good for all charisma checks. Oh, I know. Deception, Jeez. performance, <laughs> seduction. No. Seduction? Looks to the app. Seduction is not an authentic skill. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Stop it. No, still to be persuasion, but no. Do not be the stereotypical Or intimidation. Do not, be intimidation. Intimidation. Do, not be the stereo Do not be the stereotypical bard that tries to seduce everything. I've never been the stereotypical bard. I'm just I don't think she's tried to seduce one thing in this campaign. I really haven't. I've been trying. Uh, I've been trying. Uh, I, I still by the uh, by the thing of thing of like I don't want to get into someone's pants. I just want to get have a relationship. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So she just so he just exits the room. Is like follow, please. Right. Following. Following behind. Yep. And she leads you down the hall and around well, corridors. Behind. Before, uh, before, uh, as they as they're walking, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give Bundle uh, uh, some bardic inspiration, just in case we might need it. Uh, okay. I don't I know. I'm so, I don't trust my luck. That's right, because you can't give bardic inspiration to yourself. Mm. Yeah. If I could, then I would right be some uh, healer. But <laughs> run you silently tap Felion in the calf. What's up? Rhonda waves. Oh, she waves back, kind of like confused, like, why did he tap me on the calf? Rhonda blows her a kiss. <laughs> she turns around. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Can't save. Me? No, me? her. Wait, uh, why? No! What? But Rhonda, why? Wait, what? Wait, it, whoa! What, you mean that it's... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, both going out and in! Both going out and in! Oh. Fell. Oh, no. <laughs> Please tell me I beat the DC. Okay, you fight black- you fight back the blush. <gasps> okay. Oh no! That's what it meant! Okay, I was- Oh, Jesus! Okay. Oh, I had a heart attack! Nice! <laughs> oh yeah, you need to go in the back. Man, I am good at this job. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. No, it would be really bad if for our voice to get silenced. <laughs> she has to communicate entirely with face sign language. Uh, uh, oh, like, wait, wait, I'd like to roll an inside check. I'm just like, okay, does okay. anyone have a- Okay. Rodney rolls an insight check on Feliana. 18. Do I notice this? Do I know why- Hold on. Uh, Do I, I can make the connection- Hold on, hold on, hold on. I... Uh, Fel, what's up? I'm used- Oh, shit, you do. <laughs> get that- get that back- Yeah, her, her ears turn a little bit of a darker white- Uh, a- a, a harsher gray. The okay. signifies increased blood flow a little bit. Do I have to roll intelligence check to discern whether or not it was actually because she had feelings for me, or it was because of the? Uh, oh alcohol? my God, Rania! <laughs> no, no, it was just blushing because she's like, "What the hell was that?" So, <laughs> so do I not know uh, that? I oh, Baka. I 
Anyway. Losers. Let's move on. Run your wave that bundle. A bard with standards? <laughs> Run your wave that bundle trying to get his attention. Uh, You're still silent. Uh, yeah, I know. He waved that bundle. Okay, I look down at you, but what's up? Uh, he kind of uh, like uh, points at uh, uh, at um, uh, Feliana, uh, like kind of mimics drinking, and then uh, uh, kind of uh, makes a uh, face like, oh, so embarrassed. Uh, okay, I'm back. He's trying to mind that uh, he, he's under the influence of uh, the alcohol. She's tipsy. Do I have to roll performance for that or something? Sure. Oh, boy. <laughs> While we're walking... <laughs> While we're walking, Dash, you just get a pat belly on on the shoulder and say, You got this. He just, just, he just mimes the, he, he just Dash, mimes the drinking just action for a very long time. It's like, <laughs> okay. Dash, don't you say it. If you were gonna say it... He just said, you got you this. That no, was I know. Here. No, not... No, no, out of character. Were you gonna say barbaric inspiration? <laughs> you said it, not me. Bundle, Bundle thinks that Runny is doing an impersonation of an octopus. Okay. No, I think you're indicating. He thinks you're indicating she's a lush. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, come on. Only on bad days, but still. <laughs> Wait, what's, what's a lush? Uh, as someone who likes to drink a lot. And I mean a lot. Like a fish. Not a full-on drunk. Not a full-on drunk, but getting there. Yeah. So, like a wow. mommy who really wow. likes her wow. juice boxes. Kel just, Kel just taking a deep breath. Like, ah, I can do that. I can do this. A uh, bundle just gives her a tap. Well, he gives her a pat on the shoulder. It'll be fine. Just you know, tell her what's going on. And I'll already explain to you guys what why I'm doing. So just tell her that we're here to see about the contest. And if some if she did something moronically stupid, we're here to see if we can I don't know, get her out of that. Ronnie well, is still trying to yeah, gesture like, the bundle, uh they're like pointing at Belly on and shaking his head. Like make a make a make a deal or something. I'll try. Well, let's see I'll if try. there's any the any errands we can run to them. Okay. Worst comes the worst, we work for them for a year. Which I would really like to avoid, personally. Same. Personally, yes. Here, I I might have things to do in the back in the uh, uh, back in the mortal world. Ronnie is digging through his pack. Phone. Why? Ronnie takes yeah. out chalk. His blue chalk. It disintegrates. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Your silence, that doesn't mean you can't communicate. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Um, I'm so Run, mean. Runny is currently <laughs> looking around for. Uh, we're, we're like. Well, we're like moving right now, right? Yeah, and there's nothing but pure white walls that look quite unblemished. <laughs> Do we notice him pulling out this chalk? I don't know. What's everyone's passive perception? Mine is a, and I quote... Thirteen. Twelve. Fifteen. Okay, Bundle, you notice him pull out the chalk. Uh, did, uh, did I... I dropped off my shield, didn't I? Yeah, yeah you did. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, why, why would they take my shield away from me? That doesn't make sense. Oh, wait. And Since I already know that he cannot talk, I... And I see him pulling out the chalk, um, I... Take the chalk from him and say, I have a better way to do this, and hand him my some parchment and my quill and ink. When he nods and he like kind of uh, dips the quill into ink and starts writing. Yep. It he... explodes, gets everywhere. <laughs> ah! <laughs> my perfectly white walls, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Ranya shows the uh, bundle um, uh, what he wrote, and it says, uh, "I think the drink uh, Eliana had has her has her more receptive to people's charms. We may want to reconsider letting her be 
our voice piece. <laughs> I'll then I retort back in Elvish. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that she'll be fine. If anything, alcohol makes you a little bit more relaxed. Rodner shakes his head. What, was it said, tech? Is the Vinya uh, technically considering alcohol? Oh yes. Oh, well, okay then. Nice um, to know. <laughs> that was what she the, still that was what the con save chair. was for. To see if you got utterly oh. smashed. Rodner, <laughs> she did break down in capital letters with three under slashes underneath it. Magic. And I report, re retort back. She seems fine. She doesn't sound. And if out of all of us, she can spin spin a better tail than any of us. I really don't see how this could be a bad decision. Ranya stares at Bundle. <laughs> You're saying this in Elvish, that's cute. Let let the character do what she's good at. Well, it's not like I have another another language that Ranya knows. <laughs> yeah, that's just how I am right now. Just as a player, because so, have we made it? Have we made it yet? Uh, yeah. You guys actually keep going up uh, slightly inclined staircases for a while, and you pass some uh, crystalline mirror-like substances that you you initially think should hold portraits, uh, but eventually, after about five minutes of walking, you eventually reach a big big crystalline frame. Wow. These and are doors, aren't they? What? I'm just out of character saying these are doors, aren't they? And all they have are like little uh, like beads hanging from them. A lot of glass beads hanging in from them. Question. Uh, how, uh, how long have you get to this point? What, what? How long... How long did it take us to walk to here? Oh, you, you, uh, right as soon as you reach the portrait, you're like, huh, huh, oh, thank God. Con save to see if you're out of breath. Uh, <laughs> I'm not that mean. <laughs> it's a silence, it doesn't really restrict my breathing. God, that would be terrible. I can only breathe when I talk! It's my curse! <laughs> if Rania was ever a sorcerer. <laughs> yeah, that would be Rania's curse. If he ever stops talking, you die. Uh, uh, Rania looks over at Bundle. Just so you know, I likely am bound in different ways, and if you guys are bound to uh, certain quests, I likely won't be able to attend. You hear from the front, that'll change. I don't think she has that kind of power. Celia turns around slowly, grins. <sighs> you know that part where I was saying, don't say anything to get us in trouble? That starts now. <laughs> I think you guys are gonna get us into an... If I, if I do, then you The dynamics of good and evil. The best support system. Mm. Yeah, and I'm just like, dude, Phil, uh, dude, normal Phil doesn't have any self-esteem. Uh, self I think Phil might be sweating. Con save. <laughs> Goodness. Are we, are Did Phil do her makeup this morning? <laughs> it might be running. <laughs> what the fuck? I need to not have any confidence in Phil either. The oh. hell, man? Let the bard do the bard stuff. The bard hasn't done much. Oh, of so it. supportive. <laughs> Excuse me, the bard negotiated those oysters for you and taught you persuasion. Did you negotiate the oysters, or did we the oysters? Oh my god! I taught you. Dude, I taught you persuasion. It was yeah. it was your role that flubbed it, Ronnie. I remember this. Yeah, I had advantage because uh, because of charm, but disadvantage because uh, 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 because of. <laughs> yeah, let's keep moving on. <laughs> so anyway, Celia uh, points to the glass beads. It's like, yes, in a moment they will open. And as soon as she says that, the 
the glass beads r blow as if a wind is sucking them inward, and a black carpet slowly ejects from it like a tongue lolling out. Hmm. Run your adjusted owl mask on your face. Bundle uh, smooths back his fur on his head. Dash has literally nothing he can do in that regard. Well, uh, uh, fell, get, uh, uh, fell, gets yourself ready, pumps yourself up. It says, it says an infernal under her breath. Wish me luck, uh, wish me luck, mom. Feliana uh, feels another poke on the uh, back of her right calf. Like, why? She looks at him like, why? Dash tries to give Feliana a reassuring pat. Dale Cooper gives you a thumbs up from, from ten dimensions away. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm walking beside Fel, just as one support and two secondary, secondary mouth if needed. And Celia just, well, I guess she is anxiously awaiting you all. Yes, just follow the carpet, and eventually you'll reach, you'll reach the platform where you will address the High Priestess. Thank you so much. Good luck. We'll probably Thanks. need it. <sighs> okay, okay. Bundle still has that inspiration. Mm -hmm. We're good. We're good. <laughs> oh, God, I just. Uh, okay, what? Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just said. I just had dumb thought. Okay. Yeah, really dumb. Okay then. Pawn, don't you commit to this as well? Um. So yeah, you. Uh, she just points slightly ahead to uh, the black carpet, oh, lolling, <laughs> lolling out from between the glass bead structures, and points toward it. We meet uh, the 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 high priestess and you turns out to be the young. Where we're going. My but. filing cabinet and stuff did not get moved. Y'all here and help us. Bye, Talek. Bye. Yeah, she just anxiously points toward the black carpet issuing from between the beads. We move on. Yep. And as we go to meet the high priestess, it turns out she is Beyonce. Excuse you, I have class. So yeah, you guys just press on forward? Yep. Alright. Uh, marching order. Dash will be immediately behind Feliana to her left. Fell, uh, uh, fell in the middle. <laughs> well, I mean, like if we're uh, like if we're going for it. Uh, okay. I missed what was going on. Uh, Marching order. Okay. Hold on. Are we are we horizontal or? Up to you. Okay. Yeah, like, like I said, Dash is immediately behind Feliana and to her left. Oh good, much better idea of who uh, the high priestess is. Margaret. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, I, see, I am immediately to Feliana's right. Kyle's in the middle. Anya's in the back. And Talek's probably next to Dash. So we got two rows. And yeah, you guys... Uh, keep going forward on this black carpet down this white down this we well, used to be a white hallway but now it's just it's an eternal hallway lined with big old glass beads like globe sized beads and they're spinning and tick tocking and and winding up and down like yo-yos at some parts and you just keep continuing continuing until you finally reach this curved crescent moon platform that that just simply sits and waits at the end of the carpet with uh, some Elvis script on it. Can I read that script? Oh yes. What does it say? 
It says Neil. It says Neil, please. Okay. Uh, the, the moment I see that, I j jab uh, fell inside and say Neil. I yeah, do. Sure. Uh, I do so. I can't read Elven, man. Uh, that's, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Dash okay. old Neil as well. Runya speaks in the head of um, uh, his companions who uh, didn't kneel, and we tell him he tells them to kneel. Uh, I'm sure Talik kneels when we kneel. There's no guarantee of it. He's <laughs> not here. He's being NPC. He kneels. He kneels. Good. Hesitantly, but he's like. <sighs> And he does it, and as soon as all of you kneel, a face appears on the platform. Oh god. It is the black oval outline of an indigo face made entirely of triangles, moving triangles, like pixels of sorts. Hold up, is this the Wizard of fucking Oz? <laughs> and it says, hello. Greetings, humanoids. I trust your uh, journey was more exciting than you are used to. It um, it was uh, uh, it was High Priestess. We, uh, thank you for the uh, for the accommodations. They were exceedingly wonderful. The face nods. Thank you. It is most welcome of you to come by now. Can I ask, what would you have of the High Priestess Isley, the Switch? Um, well, um... Out of character, you... Super, Smash Mar Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. <laughs> 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 what? I'm making a Switch joke. Disadvantage goes to... <laughs> Sorry. Aww. Come on, come on. Anywho. And actually, uh perception checks. Okay. All of us? Yes. All right. Boop. Double six. <laughs> at some, point I, at some point I gotta get proficiency in perception. Um, Same here. Um so Rania and Fell, you guys are just kinda like don't don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact. Uh, make dash, eye contact, don't make eye contact. Da dash and bundle, you guys briefly look up, and the way you can look, this is a face made of triangular pixels, but there are two tiny stick like limbs sticking out of the side of it, of sorts. With like little <laughs> curled emblems just trailing off of them, but it's like. Oh. It's, it's weird. Like, there's this giant face with these two stick like limbs hanging off the side. Like, like an antenna <laughs> facing downwards. I take note of it. I raise a brow, but I don't say anything. Yeah, Dash just keeps his mouth shut. Oh, sweet Jesus Christ. I have to throw something in the BS. No. Well. It's too late. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> really, dude? That's the first thing I thought so, of. So, anyway. Well, may we introduce Thai Priestess? If you feel it nece if you feel it necessary. I already know who you are, Feliana Teldorel. She's like, ah oh, shit. <laughs> like her face is like I'm famous! Huh. Faye! Dash like, oh, has shit. a Faye. <laughs> Yeah, Dash has a look of oh, I hope she likes knowing a nobody then. And well, you, yes. I believe they refer to you as Te Bundle of of the Narvan, <laughs> bundle of bundle of arrows. Te uh, Bundle. Um, he he nods <laughs> as is being addressed and says, uh, "Yes, High Priestess, I, that is the name I go by. So I prefer uh, just using the uh, the first part of it, Bundle, if 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 uh, if I may." Noted. And you, Dashigan. Your throat looks better. 
That actually catches Dash off guard a bit. He just nods and says, "Thank you. It's a it's a pleasure." And he, Talix Snowfur, eh. you haven't chosen the domain yet, which is really frustrating for me. But oh well, we'll get to that. <laughs> and you looks to Rania. <gasps> like you can't you can't really read her face because she has a very neutral sort of like. Like, she doesn't really betray emotion at all, this this pixelated face. It still looks humane, and it's like a really high resolution, but of constantly shifting triangular pixels. Yeah, I'm just thinking about the Aqua Teen Like, I, I was thinking of, like, like imagine, like, the magic mirror from S Disney Snow White. Oh, wow. But made of, like, triangular oh. pixels. <laughs> but with little teddy stick arms and legs. Just no, just just the two limbs, just the single two limbs off the side. Hmm. And Rania bows. He's like, or drab, is uh, there a preferred? Is, is there a pref is there a preferred nomenclature for you, Windfall? <laughs> you seem to want to run. You seem to want to run away from your identity a lot, young one. The idea is not to run away from it. The idea is to put it aside so I may don it again when it's appropriate. Hmm. And mantles. Right now, the mantle I wear is that of Rania. Fas fascinating. Anyhow. Uh... How are we dealing with everyone at a time, or is there a spokesperson whom I am to interact with? Um, I look over the fail and nod. That would be me. Hi, Priestess. Excellent. <laughs> I, I find it better than having to relay every single bit of information to everyone one at a time. I find this much more ingratiating. Uh, the air here is cool. Very cool. In fact, Ooh. there's like little... It seems like there's ice crystals dancing in the background. Aww. That seem to be like smaller extensions of the glass beads <coughs> down the hallway. Nice. Or maybe it's just hail yeah. caught an eternal updraft. Who knows? <laughs> uh, um, well, High Priestess, we came, we came here... To, to the Veiled Keep to discuss uh, uh, to discuss matters with the Countessa Christine. Ah. Hmm. A content neutral face just sticks on that. Like, so, you do not have anything to deal with the Countess, do you? Um. Well, I... Personally, do not have anything to do with the Countessa, but gestures to Bundle. Bundle was hired by her. Ah, so it is an, em an employee's dispute. Very common with her, I understand. Well, that, uh, High Priestess, and the fact that... Uh, uh, that our realm needs the Countessa back, so she may rule. Hmm. Fascinating. And... What would you propose I take in place of her... Corporeal form? Hold up, out of character. Corporeal form? <laughs> uh, her physical body. So I have her doesn't. here. She is comfortable. She does not need. Why would you take her out into the world to suffer and endure such pains and trites and tribulations? Why would you take away from where she is safe and comfortable for the moment? Well, hi priestess. All right, uh, hold up, you guys. I just want to say I'm sorry for, for anything that I say that might sound like a bad idea, but to be honest, it sounds like a good idea. 
Hey, if anything happens, I will cough, and that will be your sign. Alright. Well. To be can- uh, um, to be candid, uh, candid High Priestess, she has a du- uh, she has a duty to complete in, the, uh, in our realm, and as a personal opinion, but uh, but not a shared one, I believe. There is no living without trials and tribulations. If you stay safe, it's just. Uh, uh, it, you don't really live. I breathe just. What do I roll? Oh no, nothing rolled yet. Oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. Steady blink. Do you know why I am holding her here in the Veiled Keep? No, uh, no, High Priestess. I was to find that out. Ronya tilts his head towards Bundle. He's doing as he was instructed to do and keeping his eyes averted, but towards her visage. Let me spin you a tale, if I may, for your brief time here. Once upon a time, there was a very young girl who very much wanted to be an artisan, a dancer specifically, at the Royal Ballet of Redport. Now, this should have been very easy for her, since her own father was himself a celebrated a celebrated cellist in the Royal Academy. However, just before she could reach age to send herself off to Academy, her father died in a sudden tragic accident, and she was left all alone at the orphanage, with nothing to hold or look forward to for the rest of her days. This girl cried and pained much for her lost father and for her lost station in life since she was rather comfortable not rich but comfortable with her father in the happy days she did have some friends however but as soon as she shipped off she simply lost contact with quite a few of them including a young a young young count to be of the Shen Yi family. Now, eventually, after much crying and woeing, she decided to look in, look to herself for her own solution to her problem. And where did she look? The library, which came across a book on the Fey and how to deal with the Fey. Now, one day. I am simply minding my own business, tending to the needs of the fe- of the keep and the Feywild, when I receive an urgent mental message from a young girl in an orphanage, asking she will make a deal with anyone for just as soon as her dream of attending this famous school for ballet and dance and song. And I answer it, and we sign a contract. And we, um, she has agreed that as soon as she makes her fame and fortune, she will immediately pay us back for all the duties and the strings and the, and the favors we pull for her to achieve her dream. She never did. And then, 12 years later, she marries this aforementioned count friend of hers. And she comes into a lovely county state and manages to make her way in life in his rich and settled beyond all belief. She is more than comfortable. She is rich. And we send her a message saying, feel free to to give forth either service or or praises to a lo- to a local temple of ours any time. This doesn't happen. We wait 12 months after this marriage and nothing happens. And, since we wait 12 months and not even a courteous RSVP is received, I do what I should have done in the first place and summon her keep from, from the roots and bring it to the Veiled Keep. Since then, she has served us well as a scullery maid. 
she occasionally has performed at various little in-betweens and and occurrences and she's wanted for nothing I guess freedom is the thing she most wants but alas she still defaulted on a debt and that is where I'm going to end that story because suddenly I received the attention of five guests who want her freedom and I will I am not able to continue the story because it is still writing itself as you see so what did you think of the current situation you negotiators have landed yourself in. Oh, kind of looks to Bunnel like, why the fuck did you tell me the earlier? Bundle is currently gritting his teeth like, ah, uh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dash is just like, going. he's not saying anything, but Dash is just like, I knew we should have just left her here. It probably would have been for the best. But, but he he looks up back to Phil and just nods. I'm actually trying to think about oh, it. Oh, we're Oh God. The the idea seem I mean the deal seemed pretty sound. There's very little wiggle room out of it. And they are in the right. The priestess's visage follows your eyes to Bundle. And she looks back to the priestess. Uh oh, like having eye contact but averting gaze. Yeah, you know, the gen. Just staring in the middle of her forehead. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's how you're supposed wow. to do it. Not eye contact. Well, High Priestess, it would seem you were in the right uh, in the in the right here. She did make a deal, and she technically did sign away her own or freedom. I understand that, and I respect that. I'm surprised you haven't asked to see her and interact with her if you care so much about her. I could have done that. <laughs> Ronnie looks over to Bundle again. He wants like, to say something. He's, tr he's like b practically biting his lip, but he said that he, but he made Felion the speaker. And he doesn't want to speak out of turn and cause a, a commotion. The contestant so looks, like, looks to Fel like it seems you are not you are not actually the most qualified to speak on this subject. Do you want to tap out, I believe it's the humanoids say, for uh, your uh, true leader to give a word or two? Stares at Bundle. A quiet tear just runs down Fells uh, Fells I like. Well, Do not cry, child. Skills. You have not insulted me. And rather, no, I see you have been treated rather well. She well, she she I... winks and a and a star spills out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's where those come from. Uh, Fel, uh, looks to bundle. Uh, uh Fel, Fel looks. Fel, Fel says to the Countessa, "I believe this part." Would you mean be... the high priestess? Uh, the high. The, the... <laughs> yeah. What did you <laughs> say? No, you <laughs> did it first. <laughs> You said it first. <laughs> you called your own high priestess the Contessa. She looks to the high priest and she says, I believe, yes, I, I agree. I believe this part, and this part should be explained by our leader. Ah, uh, yes. Looks to Bundle. Ah, uh, yes, the fearless leader looks at Bundle. <sighs> at this point, Bundle stands, bows his head. It stands. Yeah, I have. We haven't been. Ooh, told. Well then. Yeah, no, we, we haven't been. We ha We were told oh. to keep kneeling. Oh, oh my bad. Shit. I wrote this I down. Congratulations, we e. We are all going to die. I thought Phil was standing when she was speaking. My bad. No, I was kneeling down and told told otherwise. Okay. Well, 
I'm going to recant that. I'm, I'm not standing. Damn it. And... You okay with that, Brett? I, I look up, and I look up to Phil and nod. Uh, thank you. You've, you uh, spoke very well. You've, you've done a good service to us, Phil. I appreciate that. Not that. <laughs> Should, not, not that. But if you need help, just say so. And she remains oh. quiet after that. And I say, just under my breath, in Underdark, uh, I, I pray that I don't need it. Where, where? The LC triangle now speaks Underdark to you. I nod my head and say, well, uh, High Priestess, I believe, as my cohort has said, you're in every legal right to whatever she owes you. However, and this is only my opinion, not that of the rest of my entourage, that to take nodding. on to take on the words of a child who knows not the real world or what it means to owe anyone me. Such, Your such bike's lagging now. Would be... God dang it. Even the all seeing triangle cannot reach into the fifth dimension. Give me a second. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, and it unsynced again. To take on the worst. Motherfucker. <laughs> it only I need to get this out. It I need only to get this out correctly. Yeah. There we go. There, there we go. Okay. Yeah. To take on the worst. To work, take on the worst of a child would seem beneath someone of your stature and would make it to where you were taking on just anyone's request, no matter how trivial they are. Don't, wouldn't, don't you think that someone of your grandeur is beneath such a thing? Are you saying I shouldn't be collecting what is what has been rightfully owed me specifically since I took on the Contessa's request. I am not saying that you are not owed something, but to ask this of her in a time when she does not even know what what it is, what money is worth, nor how much time is even more worth, worth that perhaps you should reconsider the actual debt to be paid. I am not saying that you are not to be given something, some sort of compensation, but nothing of this high regard. Life insurance salesman bundle at your service. <laughs> and, and, if, and if I may have, have this time to ask a point of parlay on behalf of the Countess see if there's anything else of value or worth or work that would take the place of what she is owed to you. I am not saying that we are going to accept that now, but I'm asking if that offer would be at least on the table. Hmm. Proceed. Cox a pixelated eyebrow. Can I? I, I, can't, I don't know his plan, so I can't try to tap in. Shit. As it is, we have more than proven ourselves to be the capable source. We hmm. have journeyed far and wide, have met both man and monster to get through to here just to see you. Perhaps there's something of worth from us, or some some form of 
of uh, act that we may may do in, in service to you so that we may might be able to pay off the Contessa's debt. Well, I have no need of an expanding fortress or a... Uh... If. Or whatever strange mischief your your druid is attempting to create inside my keep. What? Oh yeah, she knows about the, the better bears. <laughs> I haven't done anything really. All right. I'm intrigued, and that hasn't happened in a long while. So I'm curious. What are you offering to back to back sea of the northern? I guess in this one particular moment, and I am not speaking God fucking damn it. Let him speak, Danab. I I wasn't saying anything. I think he's laughing at something. Uh, yes, but um, I, I'm not speaking on behalf of the entire party because that would be a selfish act upon myself. But I am asking this of me, if I may have a chance to do be of service to you in any way that would allow me to do something either for your keep, for to, to whomever. God you serve, whatever it is to get the Countessa out of the this binding contract that she, was, that she so foolishly made for herself. What is it that you have need of or require so that way we might be able to take her from this place and get her back in her rightful, rightful spot as uh, Countessa to, to trust. Given, I'm given the half and disadvantage for that. Uh... <laughs> Damn! Uh, the... the visitor's pr is mildly conf confused for a second, like, Hmm. Like, she's never actually... Uh, you can insight this if you want, if you dare stare at the visage long enough. Can we all try this? If you dare stare at the visage long enough and roll a d6. Uh, oh! <laughs> Dash can, Dash can stare for five seconds too long and she moves to Just him. When... Uh oh. Just when... uh -oh. <laughs> Dash, is... Dash might be panicking a little like, I'm sorry. Just... Look. <laughs> um, whoops. I know better. I do a shit. I can't read her. I can't read her. I oh, God, she's looking at me. Dash tries to break away in apology. Just look away and blush. I don't think blush just actually showed through scales. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he's capable of that. There is steam, though. Ar arcane smoke just drifts from his cheeks. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, bundle, uh, yeah, fell and dash. You guys just can't read her. Dash to the worst degree. Um, bundle, you get the idea that she hasn't had to interact with that many humanoids outside at all. Which is probably why she answered that inquiry in the first place from the Contessa years ago. Like, it was almost like out of curiosity. She wanted to see what these people were like. And in your case, she has act... You get the feeling that she has been demanded of a lot when it comes of when it comes to humanoid interaction. But she's never been offered before, so she's kind of confused. Like, huh. Okay. Well... And I look to her, since so she's in this state of confusion, I, I see that she's kind of uh, bewildered by this, and I say, is there 
anything that you would require, ma'am. Or has anyone asked this of you? That is not of your kind. Real charisma. He still has bardic inspiration. He does. Do. Yeah, and I'm just like, I failed my job as a bard. Nice. And, and that's 1d8? 1d8. 1d8. Jesus! Hey! Yeah! He I got mean, the max roll for it. I mean, you kind of did yeah! your job as a bard. Oh, you, know, you said I was a horrible bard! I didn't say that. You did say that. I enjoyed you did. that. Okay. That's the same. <laughs> okay, I gotta DM something to, to bundle real quick. Uh, I feel like being mysterious. <laughs> All because. <laughs> Oh, Whispers. He, he, he rolled a charm. Oh God, she's gonna touch his tail. All because I couldn't. I couldn't fucking understand. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I know. I just feel like I failed my job. Well, it's just it's just a bad turn of events. This is not the world conspiring against you. It's all fine. I think yes. the pro. I think the problem is that Dash and Phil aren't really as invested in this as Bundle is. Yeah, uh, Bundle yeah. actually has the information on the thing. Also, Pierce charms people for a living. Yeah, I technically do. He's he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> life insurance salesman. Or although, former life insurance salesman. Nah, I'm, I, I did sales for 10 years, so I know how to read people. Anyway, <laughs> seeing that... Why the fuck aren't you a bard? I... <laughs> well, he, he is in 14. Let him speak. speak. Seeing her reaction now, I give a smile. <laughs> How long do you stare? And I look at her for a moment, and I, I say three seconds before averting my gaze, and saying, if it is too... if I am being too forward, ma'am, I, I can understand if you do not wish to speak of the no, no. Of, you know, no, 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 no. It's um, <laughs> hmm. How how do the humanoids put it? It is a curious situation, is all. All right. You want to play diplomacy? Uh, I. Good. You will play diplomacy. So. What is your goal with the Contessa? Let's 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 be frank. Let's drop all this formality. Like, what do you want? All do you I want her back on her seat? Do you want? What do you want? I believe it's how they put it in that most curious of humanoid romantic plays, The Notebook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of character. Wow, in character. <laughs> In character, he bundles just sighs a, a sigh of relief and says, "In and out of character, what's the notebook? <laughs> it's really? something for a high school girl to giggle at." There are a lot of memes to be gained from that movie, but one in particular. <laughs> Indeed, but bundle just flatly says, "I want her to be put back in her place where she was before, along with the keep, so that way the town of Trutch can go back to being ruled as it should have been." Granted, the people there are probably by an in, by an income poop who can't control money and doesn't know what her husband does. Okay. I'm not saying it's the best th best of things, but it is as it should be. Hmm. Ronny looks like he's thinking. So you want her back. And you want to be paid. That would be nice, but I am not here. Well, I'm not running a charity, but I am also would understand if no payment... That is most apparent. <laughs> I would understand if there would be no payment gain from this. At least not from you. Right. So... All right, we will play as I say the as they say the diplomacy game. You get your contessa back, and you will eventually get paid as soon as I unleash her unleash her capital. 
Runya raises his hand. She ignores you. She then says, All right. You want to do a service of me? That is correct. There are at least three forts in the greater Redport area on the Redport section of the continent. All right. At least four. I want you to make, on your travels, please make sure you get, you are going to go to each of these four, at least. If there are more outside, you will go to every royally decreed fort. And you are going to negotiate in terms for. You are going to negotiate with the overseers of such for the release of certain elvish prisoners that have been held there for at least the past hundred years. Okay. Yeah, she can just see me. Seems legit. You are also going to be very, very careful if and when you ever make your way to the, to the ancient city of dwarves in the northeast. Because I'm going to mark you upon your leaving, and if you are spotted in that area with this mark, you may be in slight danger. Depending on the faction you interact with. Depend I can't even keep up with who the faction running the damn place is now, but... Uh, you're going to be my agent. You are going to spread the good word about the Veiled Keep. Now, we are not running a hotel, or just everyone can come and enjoy the deeds here. But, you know, we... You could be sort of like a, uh... Not quite a... A, rec a military recruiter, but more of just a, uh... Sow the seeds of the goodwill you were shown here at the Veiled Keep. Oh. We, could, we, could we could use a better human resources... Uh... Excision emissary. Emissary would be the right word. Emissary, yeah. Yeah, Dash is gonna try to raise his hand to see if he can mention something. Yeah, uh, Fella's gonna raise her like like light lightly raise, her, but not wanting to inter interject. Uh, yeah, Dash is doing the face. same thing. I will get Dash to you in a moment. Messages. I am finishing my deal with the Tabaxi man. Hand same immediately here. goes down. Same here. <laughs> And I want you to at least make a biannual trip back here and report your findings. Also, I know you, Dragon Man, are looking for the Tiamat's Chosen. You may not like what you find. That's all I'm going to say. Anyhow. That wasn't why he was raising his hand for, but okay. <laughs> I know it's not, but I know it's one answer you want. Okay. Do, do you want me to out of character tell you what he was going to comment? No, I'll get what back. He was going I'll to get add? back. Okay. And anywho. Oh, Jesus, Jennifer. So. What is going to happen is you're going to make buy on your ships, you're going to spread the good word, be a good emissary, and eventually, who knows, good things may be waiting for you. Out of sync. Oh no! There we go. Okay. He looks up to her and and graciously thanks her for the, the chance to negotiate the re renegotiate the terms for the Countess. Um, if and uh, I will do my best, and 
I will do everything within my power to complete this task. Um, and and should, should I fail, I just let it be known that it was in, in, in due service to to her that, that I was trying to get this get this accomplished. Hmm. Cover your hide and tail well, don't you? All right. We can almost con we can consider this almost concluded. We will s we will settle the arrangement uh, in your rooms later this evening. I do have more things to tend to. I will have a uh, second envoy meet with you. All right. Now I believe w each of you had one question to ask, unless the rabbit man also wished to mess, also wish to uh, interject. I probably have two, but I can. Probably choose one over the other. I. I had this. Let's, I had this moment. Oh, let, sorry. Let's let's first ask the rabbits. Do you have anything to ask of me, young one? I shall remain quiet, madam. Madam. Your choice. All right. Uh, let me see. The uh, the demonkin. What would you have of me, young Tal Dorel? It was um it was a request, High Priestess. But um it not I was wondering if it would be possible for me to also assist in this negotiating uh, uh, negotiated negotiating envoy journey. There. Sorry, I lost my words. Oh what? If you volunteer yourself for this, it can be done. I do. I appreciate such Thank forwardness. You. It is admirable. Not many are very forward in this day or age, at least not for the right reasons. But, seeing as I guess I am biased, as some would say, there's a harsh term on that word, some. Like, can, it, can I roll inside to see directing it to? Oh no. No, no, no. It's just... It's just like it's enough to where there's like almost electric shock attached to that word. Like, okay. And, it's, mm -hmm. and but I appreciate the gesture, and it can be done. I appreciate it. Next up, I believe was she the the, the fall the fallen wind. The fallen wind. Cody. Hmm. Yes, you windfall. Speak name out loud. Oh no, I, I said. Mm -hmm. Like the fallen wind. Oh yeah, the Cody. priestess does as she wishes. Uh, Ronyo lets out a sigh, and uh, me, he, uh, Anna, um, uh, glances to the eyes of. Uh, the priestess for a moment before reverting his gaze once again. <clears throat> I suppose uh, uh, I am situation one. So I thought I would put in my my thoughts on the matter. So I wanted to kind of give some sort of distance between them. May as well speak my mind. Wanya in uh, head and uh, looks into uh, the priest's eyes and then uh, reverts it to her forehead or, uh, for a moment. Or what would be her forehead, he assumes, for the no. Is that the outline of the head? I don't know. But anyway. Uh, I was hoping to keep my involvement in this which is possible, but I did have questions in mind. If you are so concerned about the political ruling of a uh, mortal realm, why did you not replace the Countess uh, and uh, put someone who could take her form 
and uh, who would be loyal to you in a place. We are not tricksters of the South, and the the focus at the time was re was re was refilling the debt rather than adjusting the political terms of the humanoids. Hmm. So the weighing of the scale rather than grabbing or asserting power. Hmm. Uh, that said, um, are you considering installing one of your own people in the area to keep an eye on your investment then? Hmm. Potentially. There might already be some there, waiting, waiting for their moment. Good to know. That is all I had. Looks to dash again. The all right, trail. all right, one, all right, one of steel. What do you need? I, if allowed, I actually have two questions. And, uh... Go on. The first one concerns my friend Feliana here. Um, mm -hmm. When we were within the underpass. She tut she came in contact with a what I could only assume is evil shrine of some sort and though she seems better now, it definitely affected her somehow and I've been concerned about that ever since and whether or not we've and whether or not we've undone the damage. Did the shrine have a twisted horseshoe on it? Did it? I don't yes. remember. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, it did. Looks at Fell. Looks back to you. She seems fine. Uh, uh, Dash straight up breathes a sigh. I mean, she. I mean, she that. hasn't insulted me and threatened to decimate my kingdom to ashes like most people who've touched that shrine have. Uh. Yikes. Well, you at least won't have to worry about that anymore. We kind of broke it. There, I think blessed it. But my second question did have to deal with your accurate assumption about Tiafat's chosen. Mm hmm. Talek would hold his hand up. God damn it, you had your chance. <laughs> Just wait. Still here, Brett? Yeah. I'm just waiting for the for the ladies to call it to uh, ask me. Italics interrupting my questions. Yeah, so she's not paying any attention to anyone outside of you. But I guess she's waiting for Dash to continue. Mm -hmm. Any information at all would be welcome, though I. You did say I wouldn't like the answer. Okay, at this moment, at this that. moment, the entire room goes dark, and Dash can disappear from everyone else's view. <gasps> oh, you are staring shit. at her directly, and she so. is, and she is going to go. She's going to be extremely up close. And like, how badly do you want this? Oh God, damn it! Oh boy, Help. I have to. I have to save my sister. I have to save my tribe. I would not be a fifth criteria if I left them to rot. If you continue down this path, you will not like the end game. The answers are not what you expect. If it, if it means saving my people, I will learn to deal. Fine. Click. You're, you're back in view of everyone. It occurs to me that Dash, is, uh, Dash and Ronya have a lot in common. Did Dash just disappear? Uh, no, no, no. Basically, it was like frozen time, but he just was pulled into a separate dimension. You guys didn't notice anything different. Okay, okay. It's basically, he had like the time barrier. Like, he was pulled into a separate dimension that had a different time scale all of its own. 
You will find the answers you seek in Redport, to the south end. Look, you will be looking for a human named Vaughn. Let me write that down. Try not to kill. Try not. Try not to kill whoever you meet with that name first. I assume he probably won't be saying hello first. She. She. Yeah. How do you spell Vaughn? V-O-N. Like Final Fantasy XII. Oh, Vaughn. To the south end of Redport? Actually, I'm sorry. V-A-U-N. V-A-U-N. Oh. Uh, yes, south end of Redport by the docks. Like Chew. No, that's bad. Never mind. Okay. Have care. Stone grinding looks to the looks to the rabbit. Oh, Dash would have actually said thank you at that, by the way. Blinks. Blinks, blinks. Nah. Yeah, th th that's all he had. I think we're more waiting on Talik. Oh. Yeah. I think he muted himself again. Talik. You there, Talik? Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Ta tag yeah. your it. Blinks, blinks. Um, I really have nothing to say, madam. <laughs> Why'd you raise your hand? <laughs> <then? laughs> you fucker! <laughs> Well, I was going to say Dashkin may have my question, so that way he can ask two. Oh. Uh, Maybe he'd have three. No, no. He, he, two. I, I would have had one question, but Talek would have uh, given the question. He would have gotten to me for two questions. Okay. <laughs> that's why I was going. That's why I was going to say. Clever. I like you. <laughs> there is no smile on her face. Just, hmm, uh, I like you. You make, a, you make fun of me. I am terrified. Um, I forgot about something. Shit! Like that, the priest is now looking at you. Is there something yes. you need, young Tal Durrell? Um, apologies, High Priestess. Don't apologize, what? you haven't insulted me yet. I know, I'm just a bit very sorry. <laughs> you really have a habit of saying sorry a lot. That's the anxiety. She says more si <laughs> sorry than most Canadians I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the anxiety. Hmm. I have another title for the priestess, but I think it may insult her. And don't keep it, it keep it to yourself even out of character have, until we're out of here I have a, uh, literally I've almost said sorry for being sorry many times I've done that before as well damn straight progress anxiety uh, anxiety friends yeah high five <laughs> what the hell so fell the uh, just um uh, uh, hold your gaze for three seconds, and, and then uh, looks away. I was, I was wondering if, if you may have heard, you know my story, right, High Priestess? Bits and pieces. I only skimmed the file. Of course, uh, uh, that's fair. But there's a boy I'm looking for, only about the age of nineteen. A purple tiefling named Hi uh, named it was Hi yeah Hygric. Hygric. Wait. No, that, wait. Uh, what? No, no, not not Hygric. Not Hygric. Yeah, Hendrick. I was gonna say he wasn't a t he wasn't a tiefling and. Uh... No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, had I was about to say that would be a very easy answer, actually. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, yeah, well, yeah. 
No, uh... <laughs> I'm a beast! Oh my god, okay. Her, her younger... a younger brother, about, about 19 now, named... Henrik. The purple tiefling. This is the brother you're looking for? Yep. Younger brother. He should be about 19 now. Long blink. Eyes open. Uh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Uh. Your best bet, ironically enough, is doom. Mm. I figured. Thank you, uh, thank you, High Priestess. Uh, do I want to ask? There will be an encampment on the, just inside of Doom. What? Watch out for the trogs. Trogs. Oh God! PTSD from from at the table. She nuts. And the salamanders. She nuts. Thank you, uh, thank, <laughs> thank you, high, thank you, High Priestess. Uh, Are there any last minute questions, or should I leave you to the hospitality? Mm. Are the questions a part deal arrangement then? What of our services to you? What or is there going to be further payment for answers to the questions? Depends on on the length and depth of the questions they need answering. Uh, <clears throat> what a twist, Pod. What a twist. <laughs> Spit it out, dear boy. It'll only be five years of your life on the line. <laughs> Depending upon the, the severity of the question, rather the cost of the question, you said. The the depth. depth. How long how long of a question is it? Hmm. Is there a <clears throat> no, hold on for this? What rushing lead? <sighs> is there somewhere in this land that is hidden from other races that is free from inhabitation? Okay, from can you repeat that? The, the the cat tried clawing me, and I had to look away uh, for a second. Is there? Is there uninhabited land somewhere in this region where no humanoid has yet set foot? There are various spaces of various expanse that man, that humanoids have not yet penetrated, yes. Is it... Uh, is there a land that is hospitable in this region? And if so, which direction would you suggest I go to find it? It would be recommended you seek out the canyons. I think your answer will be. So I think you will find your answer. Everything is doomed. Again with doom. That's not hospital. The or canyons. The canyons, not doom. Oh. Where are the canyons? I'm looking on the map here. It's in the world map, not this, not the regional map. This is the regional map. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, so I have to look a little bit farther. Okay, I'll just have to keep in mind that the canyons. Yeah, I think they're like what to the east. Yes. East, okay. Past like, the marshes, I guess. 
Okay. Good to know. Run your nods. Gratitude. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Uh, on the pipes up. <clears throat> um, damn it, it's right when I'm trying to talk. I didn't do anything. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. You're good. Okay. Um, I guess my final request, if I may, um, High Priestess, <clears throat> I would like an audience with the Countess. Of course, with your viewing, so, uh, so that you know that I mean no trickery behind my mind trying to see her state. Mm hmm. It will be done. Faster than you think. I am most appreciative. I am most appreciative. Now, if there's nothing else, I will retain you to Cellier and Dirk's care. Hopefully, hopefully one of them knows a good exit from here. Thank you for having us, High Priestess. Was that in character or out of character? What, at Dash commenting about the uh, exit? exit. <laughs> That sounded in character. It, it it was kind of dash like thinking out loud about some the direction to go that's not the underpass. Basically, he does not want to go back through there. Yeah, uh, we. A should cruel smile that. flickers on her face, but it reverts back to neutral. Like, <laughs> oh, enjoy. Oh, and... no. we're shot off a cannon. Thank you. Uh, thank you. And thank you, High Priest, for your thought, for your time. And with that, the face blinks, and the face then minimizes, and the glass beads start rattling again <laughs> behind you, which they had gone very quiet as soon as the meeting had begun. Hmm. And the uh, carpet actually—you guys start moving off of your own, of none of your own accord. The carpet starts like conveying you back out. Oh, okay. Huh, convenient. She seemed nice. Yeah. She's nice. She's fair. Mm. And after about a minute, you guys pop out of the glass of the glass bead uh, wall, and it's like, "Oh, hi, welcome back." <clears throat> I want to go on. Yeah. Hmm. About forty, forty-five minutes. Ah. All right. oh. Sounds about right. Uh, freaky. <clears throat> One was silent. Wait a minute. What did you say, Vitalik? Uh, freaky. freaky. Uh, We're gonna die. We all. I imagine we all just slowly look at Talik. Like, Talik, no. Yeah, Tyler, like, you, you, you basically hear like the sound of stones grinding as everyone looks at you, like... Mm. No, I mean, like, it felt more like it'd been two hours that we were gone, 45 minutes. I mean, to me, that's, like, freak. It's, like, normally when we have conversations like that, it takes, like, about an hour or two. Celia's kind of pale. <sighs> okay, I thought that was going to be a good thing, but no... <laughs> You might be careful what words you use in around this area. I hope she's closed herself off by now. But anyway, let's go back to hospitality. <laughs> uh, shall we? Yeah. 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 yeah let's go. <laughs> Say one damn thing and anybody goes all ballistic. You don't because understand. that's kind of the that's kind of the danger here, Talik. We can't say That's anything That's legitimately bad. the danger. If we say one thing wrong, bad things will happen. Uh, anyway, you guys head back to hospitality, and there is a scullery maid uh, just outside of Dirk's hospitality wing, just uh, dusting the uh, the ladder entrance, like the the attic descendants. Like dum 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 dum. 
Got this little curly Moffat hat and this very brown, plain dress. Just like... Can I roll inside? Sure! I mean, I, can't, I don't really know her, so the only two people who would be able to do this would either be... No, it would be Bundle. I think it would, it would be Bundle, bundle and Talek. Bundle and Talek. Oh, yeah. Yeah! That's what I want. Oh, hey! That person owes you money. <laughs> okay. How's the group set up as I'm walking for as we're walking forward? Oh. Because if, if Bundle's behind anyone, he's gonna charge through. I think it's just, I think it's just Celia, Celia leading you and the previous where it's like Dashkin, Rania, and Talik in the back, and then you and Feliana, and then Celia is leading you guys. So it's like three yeah. rows. Okay. The moment he spots her, he's going. He looks like to anyone who actually sees him. He looks mad. Can I roll an insight? <laughs> or per wait, would this be insight or perception? Insight on bundle. Insight on what bundle. What about us behind? Right, wait, right, what are you? What are you trying to tell, Feliana? Yeah. Like, uh, like, he kind of looks a bit weird. Like. Uh, uh, he he kind of looks a bit weird. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to see what's going on with him. Like, what is he okay, seeing? Okay, Talik, you look a bundle. You look at the woman. Like, oh, ooh. Wow. I don't know shit about this situation. So, Dashkin, Dashkin, you look at Talik. You look at you look at bundle. You look at the woman. You're like, uh, did she do bad? Fell. You're kind of like. Wait a minute. She mentioned that she was doing custodia. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't get it. At this point, bundled charges past everyone. Uh, at, the, at the last split second, Talik just ends up grabbing Bundle by the tail, stopping him. Oh no. Uh, okay, so so that would be an evasion check from. Okay, what are you using to grab? Are you using strength? To grab him, or are you using like just Do it. trying to catch him, Talik, or what? I'm going to try to stop him, so I guess I'll have to try to catch him. All right, so who? What would this grapple check be? Let's go with raw strength check from from uh, Talik, and either acrobatics or dex check from Bundle. Something that both of them are good in. Oh wow! Oh. Why didn't oh. you do acrobatics? Oh. Oh. Damn. Okay, so Talik, you do successfully grab onto him, but oh, shit. However, he runs away, and the and the fur just splits from your hands. Like, it's like, oh, he Whoa. mad. Oh, there's a bone spot there. Uh, and he doesn't care, huh? Meanwhile, Ronnie's like, hey, can I have that fur. He and uh, <laughs> as Bund as Bundle moves forward, he says with almost acid in his in his breath when as he speaks, he calls out uh, the contestant's name, Christine. which was Christine. 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 Patricia. <laughs> yeah, he ca he calls it out sharply. Sean! She she flint the 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 woman flinches like oh oh did I mess up the bed again? Oh, <laughs> poor girl. At first, there's a blank stare facing you like, um, uh, oh, hello, hi. Oh, how did you manage no. to get here? Oh, he grabs her. He grabs her by the collar. <laughs> Celia comes over like, no, no, please, please, she's an employee. A very, very model employee, I will add, but still. Why are you watching this while eating good berries? He says this through gritted teeth. I won't damage her, I just need to talk. We would prefer you not intimidate her, she is very fragile. We've learned this very often when dealing with her. She, re she requires light criticism and, uh, Gentle persuasion. I believe this is persuasion of the not quite gentle kind, in my experience. So, um, 
Uh, please be careful with her, and uh, remember, points to the points to the ear above her temple. D Dashigan just wonders aloud. Aloud, is she like mentally, you know? Gosh, people are just sensitive sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dash is wondering if she's legitimately mentally challenged. Like, oh, boy. oh that that makes us kind of depressing. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she all looks the Dash. Dash. My god. No, that, that one was out of character. I'm sorry. That one was out of character. That's depressing. My god. <laughs> can I can I get my point across now? Sure. <laughs> Please. Thank you. Well, first please don't damage roll, the goods. First, I'm gonna roll a wisdom check to see how much of a candor he's gonna have with this conversation. Sure. Oh, it should be good. Hey. Yeah. Okay. You so, you you brush yourself off like uh I could be civil, civil, civil. I'm civil. I'm so I'm so civil. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm the most he, fucking civil. He lets her go. He straightened his jacket. And he looks to her with a very stern look and says, you know, it is not only with the, uh, the, the Fae that you have business with. I do hope you understand that. I do hope you know why I'm here. I know the lone shark. She, she nods. Mm -hmm. Good. Because I have already struck in a deal to get you out of here. And when I am done doing this for you, we will have words. Is that understood? Blinks. I said, is that understood? Yes. He says his nar narrow eyes. Yes, but sheepishly. I like it here. Oh, God. Oh, okay. no. I'm go even Celia I'm goes, nervous. even Celia face one's like, oh, no. Oh, no. Dad oh, is gonna no. insight that to see if she's being serious. I don't know shit. To be that fair, way. it sounds like they've been treating her fairly well. Like, if you're gonna be a slave to anyone... Fell, she's honest. Oh no, face palm. One is just munching out his good berries and watching this like a soap opera. Okay. Now Bundle's trying not to lose it. <laughs> Cause he failed that wisdom check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like yeah, I just imagine look like camera pan to him, you hear like the sign of glass breaking as his, as he winces. <laughs> like his eye is slowly twitching. He he looks to uh he looks to the, uh, the the guard escort and says, "How many years of service would it be if I smacked her right now?" <laughs> mm, I think we'd actually take a hand for that. She is technically Fey property. Mm. For now, anyway. We, we give you a new one, but uh, yeah, we'd have to take it uh, at least for uh, tradition's sake. Understood. Posterity. He says. He looks back to her and says, "You have a duty." I don't care if you like it here or not. I will bring you back here. Kick, bring you back to Trut, kicking and screaming. Bring like you back here. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dash is just, oh no. And Fel is oh. just like, uh, just uh, kind, kind of like hiding behind Dash, like, Dash, what the hell is going on? Bundle appears to be trying to kidnap the Countess after no. he was hired to to rescue the Countess. Celia looks at you like, no, 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 like throat motion, like. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. Points okay. to the temple. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. And he. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Bundle, Pals please. Pals like. Bundle, no! Bundle, no! You know. Bend when you're not okay. Need... Okay. Bundle now looks a lot more like Ren from Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> or Vegeta. Okay. Once he found out that uh, the Dragon Balls were. Stop oh. it with the TFS references, we're better than this. No, we're not! No, we're not! Okay. Okay. Hold on, as this is going on, can Dash can do something? 
Sure. What you gonna Dash do? Dashkin is gonna try to quickly approach Celia and try to say, maybe we should knock him out. <laughs> yes. He just he just try and do sign ways. Just say like, should should I, should I use my club? Should, should I use this? Yeah. Right. Yeah, like, <laughs> knock him out. Knock him out. If <laughs> Fel right. just. Like why do you no, take no, out one of his sleep fairies? No, no, it's just like, <laughs> no. Hold on, uh, Fel's, Fel's doing like the like the uh, like the Yisma thing for, uh, from the Emperor's New Groove. Uh, uh, groove. Uh, Spinach groove. puffs. Like, you know, uh, <laughs> knock him out! Brett, yeah, no, uh, we're, everyone's just begging Celier to knock him out before he does any more damage. She she Brett, she uh, excuses herself. She's like, mm 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 mm. Brett, did you say that uh, the these things are? Uh, like, uh, when the juice comes in contact with the skin, or does it have to be ingested somehow? Uh, those ones preferably have to be ingested. Those oh, will just put his eyes right. to sleep. Like, if, if you try to inject it in his eye, like, it would, like, numb him on the outside. But in order to get him <laughs> to sleep, they would actually, uh, they would actually need to get inside his system. I mean, you okay. could you could try and poke it. You could try and, like... I don't know if you got okay. a straw, you could try and syringe him into him, but there will be the... the, yeah. the oh, God! The, Dash is gonna speak up and, and try to say to Bundle, Remember, Bundle, if we have nothing nice to say, say don't nothing say at all. all. Runya walks we, over to... We uh, are guests here. Runya goes what over to Dash, uh, taps him on the leg, and uh, shows, him, uh, shows him the sleep berry. When in doubt... Also, hold up, hold up. I have this, uh, I have this advantage for, for a reason. Bundle, listen, I know you're angry right now, and I can completely understand why. But here's the thing. We're in the Fae. We, you know, we need to be hospitable. You need okay. to calm down. What do I roll? Uh, Ooh, persuasion with advantage. Uh, yeah. Um, what am I rolling in report? So that's a twenty-seven. Uh, either yeah. insight or charisma save. That's a good bard. Charisma save or insight? Charisma uh, save or insight. Yeah, I fail that. Uh, yeah, she, she, so. yeah, she's got a point. She does. Well, he's still mad, and he did still fail that wisdom save. So I don't he care. He's like. Two steps from. She is really. She is really persuasive. He, so instead of yelling his his head off at the countess right this second, he takes one of the silent berries. Uh, hold on. What do you offer? What did you did you offer him one of the one of the sleep berries, Rania? I was about that. Yeah. Okay. No, he he didn't offer you the silent berries. He. Oh wait. No, you bundle, no, no, no. bundle oh, took six of those right, earlier. He did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's eating a silent berry. Okay. And once yeah. he eats the silent. Okay. You had to roll a Constitution save or anything. Sure. Okay. Oh. Uh, yes. You feel queasy. It's like. Oh. I'll <laughs> tell you. <laughs> Oh god, these have a different effect if you feel that. Ooh. No, I think they just make you nauseous. We did not... Yeah, I made that save. Yeah, Bundle, for some reason, you don't want to open your mouth. Uh oh. Yeah, hey, you just don't want to. It's like, mm, it seems like a bad idea if I do it. Oh yeah, it's a bad idea. Oh. 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 What the hell? What did I make? I don't know. You made something. Those berries you realistically don't want to eat. Laxatives. If only because they're bad. No, I don't think they're laxatives. No. I think it's coming out the front door. Yeah, it could be Epicac. So anyway, <laughs> bundle. Back to your free will moment. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he no speaking now would be a bad thing, because he might just lose his lunch, or breakfast in this case. But he looks up to the Contessa and stares daggers at her, wanting to punch something. Do you need some... He, do you need a restroom? There's 
two directly above us. Above. You're directly below the lobby. Okay, I can't say anything. But what would it be? What would it be? You can just nod. No, he's mad. <laughs> so would have to. Middle finger. Uh, he technically the, the the proper thing would be biting his thumb at her, but if he opened his mouth, it would be bad. Yes. Oh yes. I imagine projectile vomit happening. Would be awesome. So are you rolling? Well, like, where you're looking to like uh, give like angry sign language to her, like performance or what? On a side I guess. Note? I guess so. On a side note. Okay. Note? Uh, performance. Dis uh, yeah, uh, performance. I have some interesting ideas, actually. You relate to her a hard stare that's punctuated apparently by points of you looking down at your stomach like, oh. I'd like to do some experiments on these berries at some point. No, oh, no. Conduct some, some research. Because I want to know how, uh, if I can slip this into soup or stew of some sort, and how much, like, uh, how many per berries to perforate in the whole thing. If and Talos is sitting back there with a handful of panther for like, what the hell do I do with this? Oh, uh, but Rania goes over to Talik and, uh, uh, yeah, can, can I have that panther for? I, I he needs it. it over to Rania. Awesome. You oh, you're it. not going to make him pay for it? Okay. I already gave him, like, uh, twigs, uh, for, uh, uh for his, uh, low spell. This is pretty much a symbolic relationship at the point. I give him stuff and he gives me stuff. The only thing Talik regrets is not grabbing hold of that tail even better. So that is now two hairs a bundle. No, that would be if you nat. That would be if you natted that roll. Either either nat. Jesus Christ! Oh, oh no! Also, you touched the tail. There oh no! There will be words about that later. No, he didn't. No, he didn't touch it. He grabbed his leg, but he escaped. Oh okay. I thought you grabbed. Oh. Your... No, no, he grabbed your, he grabbed yeah, your, he grabbed your right leg. He was about to grab your leg and like hold you still, but you, like he has, mm. as soon as you grabbed a little bit, you moved and he's like, Pfft. like oh, you got to be fur. With you, I was really aiming for the tail, but it looks like I grabbed the leg instead. If you grabbed the tail, <laughs> it would have, it would have been bad. Yeah. And if I grabbed the tail, we would not be in this position of moving the tool to the town Texas. Also, you're silenced now. <laughs> Well, he storms away from the group and goes to find uh, <laughs> a lavatory. Uh, yeah, she immediately pulls down the uh, the elev the elevated uh, stairway, and you climb right up there, and you immediately enter into the uh, the lobby, which has a little sink and basin and lavatory set aside. Yeah. And what, after he, after Bundle goes to find an emergency toilet, Dashigan wants to try to give. Oh shit! Hold on, Spider. <laughs> Suddenly, oh, shit, spider. spider, seed interrupting spider. Okay, it's dead now. Yay. Okay, Dashigan wants to give the Contessa a good hard look, hard long look to try to get an idea of what her mental state is. Oh, the Contessa? Yes. He Ooh. wants to try to figure out what her mental state at the moment is. Uh... Insight? <laughs> she seems fine. She seems content. She's got her mop and her dust... and her dust sure. mop and she's fine. I don't know. She 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 could be a little cleaner, but she. He was trying fine. to figure out if she was childlike or not. No, no. Well, mm. not. Ri uh, yeah. Okay, you get a feeling that this woman is not entirely mature and is not really built to be a royal who interacts and actually does important things. How old is she? She's like nineteen. Oh. Oh, oh that there makes sense. We go. Wait, isn't that like after realizing time? that? Dash looks to play. Yeah, I think we might have made a mistake. <laughs> but to so? well, we're, we're committed now. Old. 
Why were we hired by a 19 year old? Aren't there laws against that? The Paul says, how so? Uh, looks at the count says, ah. Oh. <laughs> now, Talek is going to start. Well, regardless. Right Hold on. Regard. Uh, okay, uh, Dash, finish your thought, then Talek. Well, regardless, we're kind of signed into a contract now that we're obligated to fulfill. Yeah. All right, Talek. It's been a fun adventure, though. Now that we've been hired by a 19-year-old, I might lose it. Mm. I'm just standing there with my eye twitching. My Y'all gonna baby. make me lose my mind. I told Not you this at the beginning of the adventure when you were in her room. Like, yeah, she's very, very young. Like, she's freshly married and kind of bright-eyed. I was Talek. expecting 23, not 19. Talek, did, 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 do you want to sound very too? Oh no, she's she's freshly graduated from early liberal arts college. <laughs> liberal arts! <laughs> We're good! We're good! We are bold. <laughs> what did you guys drag me into? He looks over at Talek. What did you guys Don't drag us me. into? Uh, Felix to, uh, to Dash. Pawn is laughing at hey. all of us. <laughs> hey, don't. <laughs> I'm not the one who wanted to come here, but frankly, I still got it. I got yeah, it. We're playing the blame game. game. So Look, I don't like, want to come here in the first me. place. This is all your fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't mine and Bell's problem to begin with. Well, we're just <laughs> fighting a bear, and suddenly there was a bugbear. <laughs> All I was doing was innocently passing a tiefling man, and suddenly I'm wrapped up in this weird situation. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, Bundle is currently uh, dry heaving in the toilet. <laughs> well, um, now we have. Um, she looks to uh, to shit. I wrote her name down. Is it again? Uh, uh, Celia. Celia. Oh. Celia. Thank you. Mm. She's still uh, face palming, so, like, oh god. So, how much time do we have until we have to meet with the High Priestess again? Like, pulls her, her hand down. Like, oh, um, it's just, uh, the, her agent will be in contact with you by tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I got the impression that we'll get the rest of the information we need later. She just needs to work her other diplomatic and uh, trade negotiations and, uh, Occasionally weave her arcane, and then she'll she'll send her agent to you. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh God, you almost assaulted a member of this. But I don't even know what the hell's gonna happen because of that earlier comment. But okay. Well, well, that means you now we have time to explore. For the record, I did nothing. For the record, I tried to defuse the situation. For the record, <laughs> same. For the record, I tried to roofie the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Dash just slowly looks at Rodya yeah, after that comment. <laughs> I don't even know how the comment said that. <laughs> I do tell everyone what the hell. I thought it would help. Um, <laughs> she she continues to look to Sally. So. <laughs> Is that gonna go in quotes? It went into quotes! It went into quotes! <laughs> On the record, I tried to rookie the cat. <laughs> Context is for the week. <laughs> so Fel continues to look to tell you. Dirk just walks in on that. Oh, hello! What? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dirk. We've had a day. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh you're not okay. in pe you're not in pieces. That's wonderful. And you don't have the and you don't have the in and you don't have the important all fay brand of you being service to us. That's also a good sign, I guess. Although we could um, use the service. Now that I think about it, that might be the mark the high priestess was talking about. What it is. Oh, so you did make a deal. That's cute. Uh, Yes, me and, me and yes, me and Bundle are going to. Yay! I I kind of figured we'd all end up receiving it. Why do is it? Why does it feel like I'm going to puke? Why am I involved in this deal, by the way? Well, anyway, we have time until uh, until until night. So, looks to Sully. Are there okay. any rules for possibly exploring? 
Okay, out of um, character. Other uh, than the other... Wait, wait, other... wait, go. What's that? What's that, Pierce? I was just going to clarify something. Out of character. Um, <laughs> one, the only one who actually officially decided to do this is Bundle. You don't have to follow. Oh, no, I want to. That's the thing. So, Rania, Dash, and Talek don't have to do shit with this. Dash okay. is just assuming at the moment that everyone's getting the mark. He, he doesn't know otherwise. Yeah. In character, he believes it. He, he doesn't know out of character, he doesn't have to. Uh, oh, like, I'm, I'm just making uh, sure that that was true. In character, yeah. Fel, yeah, in character, in character, in character fell volunteered, uh, volunteered of own volition to get, uh, to do this and also get marked. Uh, Which uh, Dirk marked, approves so. very much. Yes! <laughs> Run you would volunteer I to like do the Dirk. thing, but not He's get awesome. marked. I don't. I don't want to be marked any more than I've already had been so far. Yeah, don't have, have to be marked. Dash yeah. is really <laughs> hopes we get to go to. Dash is really hopes we get to go to Redport too. Fell kind of hopes, but also doesn't hope that they have to go to Doom. Run you wonders what month it is. It is, it is currently the end of July. Ah, cool. Roughly, I have, so it's, I have some time. It's, yeah, so it's not did yet fall. Ever, did we ever roll well, for birthdays? <laughs> uh, we can do that later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just like... Not during the session, young one. I know. I'm sorry. So does okay. anyone else have any questions before they pile into the lobby? I mean, well, I Phil, just... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Phil I, had I, one. I, 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 yeah, I was asking, what's the rules on, uh, on possibly exploring? Um, just don't leave and try not to pry into the rooms clearly marked in the Elvis script private. Shit, we what's can't the... read Elvin. Ah, oh, shit. Well, leave the the hand. To the bathhouse! I'm good. Ooh, bathhouse. Uh, Actually, uh, Rania waves his hand. Do you accept currency from that Elvin? Who I used before. I need some of that. Mm. Or a face shampoo, rather. Wait, what? The, the shampoo that he used before on himself to get rid of dandruff. He's self conscious think... about the dandruff. I oh, no, it's, asked... it's, it's, it's like a hotel. It gets refilled while you're gone. I think he's asking if he can buy some <laughs> to take on the go. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing. If this is just like a hotel, then you maybe could probably steal it. <laughs> no! No, well, we don't be the, be that would be the worst idea. No, we, no, have no, asked, no. Uh, we have asked what happens if you take stuff out of the room. I know, I know. Yeah, I think he's. I think Rodney's asking if he's able to purchase some for on the go. Yeah, I get mm. it. It's just starting to... Or do we possibly have a gift basket we can receive for visiting the Veiled Keep? I survived the Veiled Keep t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I survived the Veiled Keep and all I got was a shitty t-shirt. <laughs> and hopefully some free shampoo. Mm. And mm. wonderful, real, real charisma. wonderful uh. Oh, dude, are you sure not persuasion? Roll still charisma. Per persuasion is still charisma. Yeah, but I have proficiency in persuasion. Roll, Roll charisma. charisma. Oh, Ronya scratches his head real quick. Ew, oh, dandruff. <laughs> God, you have horrible luck with uh, with charisma. Yes, I have horrible luck with this campaign in general. Uh, no, you didn't die the first time you contacted Lady Al, which was a possibility. Uh... Yeah, you you, uh, you made better berries. We survived the fucking underpass. <laughs> That's because I had very little to be involved with in the past. And Fel didn't lose her leg. Uh, yeah. Celia blinks at you like, I'll see what I can do? Yay. Looks very confused and kind of icky, like, ugh. Just looks yeah, at the pile of dead skin at your feet like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, I need it. I do. You have to admit, I do need it. Yeah, just don't uh, don't go into the private segments and hallways, and uh, just... and for me specifically, avoid the northern uh, 
the northern wing. Yes. Yes. Uh, otherwise, uh, bathhouse and uh, lunch will be served soon-ish, right, Dirk? Yes! Yes! Right. I freaking love Dirk. Dash will look to Feliana. So what are you planning to do? I'm, uh, uh, I'm thinking of going to the bathhouse. I think I might join you if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. Yay! Yay! I heard something about there being an exotic animal expedition somewhere around here. The fuck? <laughs> Brad. Fells, uh, Fells, uh, uh, um... pan, uh, Panda Pig's uh, reaction to TM. Jesus fuck. The fuck. Motherfucker. Uh oh, <laughs> we lost Bumble. Anything that involves. Oh, Jesus, no. Bumble, okay. no! No! Okay. The dry human didn't... got to him. Another reaction. God damn it, Rania. Those chicken nuggets finally killed him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're da too good. Da no. Dashigan's reactions. Goodness, Christ, and shit. <laughs> the DM's reaction. Just, um... I think I'm gonna pin the DM's reaction to everything and Let me see. It's somewhere up in BS. I think I have one uh, something from another thing. Right. I'm, I'm okay, if also silent snickering in the background, you're like, this is a real bad idea, but <laughs> <laughs> is that oh, basically Death just realized something they might curiously ask uh Salier if, if he has the chance. <laughs> For the record, I tried to repeat the cat. The last. We're gonna die. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> One day, but not today. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know. DM. <laughs> I mean, all things die eventually. You have notifications from Discord. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's that's the DM's trademark response to everything in this campaign. Like, <laughs> oh god, what now? <laughs> are, are we waiting up? Are we waiting on bundle before continuing? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, how you doing, Pod? This so far. Beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, is everybody ready? Yes. Right. Okay. Well, while we're waiting on bundle, is it okay if Dash asks Sellier something? Sure. Oh, I just remembered. When we were in the un when we went to the underpass, we learned that it might be bad for me in there because of a dragon curse or something. Is that something I should be worried about? Mm. Like. Are you able to check for magical aids? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is going in quotes for my <laughs> magical aids. <laughs> I'm still winning. Yeah, Radia is right. I'm trying to remember what I mentioned about the magical animal exp exposition. Yeah, um, shit. <laughs> so he's just gonna oh. leave Dash hanging. You caught the DM off guard. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you right now, I made that shit up. Just gonna say. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's I it. Someone else could disadvantage the rest of the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 but Rania. See the pinned that reaction that in BS. That does not sound like something that would that would in fact be uh, it, uh, with a place that, uh, that that there are a bunch of fey around. They'd have like some sort of zoo, like thing that are out in the. Like, oh look, the chimeras are, uh, the chimeras are here. Hey! Oh, look! Hey! Hey! Oh, look. Okay. <laughs> oh look, the chimeras are meeting. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Anywho, what did I miss? 
Um, we roofied a cat. <laughs> uh, Dash is checking for magical aids. <laughs> asking if they can check for magical aids. And uh, there apparently was supposed to be a magical animal exhibit, which resulted in Rania getting disadvantaged for the rest of the year. <laughs> In or out of the game? You Both. Know, yes. You know that would exist. <laughs> and I was honest with you. I couldn't let you believe that you mentioned something. So yeah, that's what's happened, Pierce. Okay. There's so and many. And I just rolled for lunch. Oh, lunch! We get gruel. Nope. Hey. We get lunch, but every lunch uh, break that we take is five years on us. No, we but everything stash, everything Ryan you know? touches turns to dust. Ryan, right, touch nothing. Uh, Invest in gloves. Much? Hold on, hold on. Bundle, what's up? Run your lips back, belly on its tail. Bundle, what's up? There's a lot of people in the background. Jesus. I know. I know. Anyhow, how much time has passed? Have I basically up chucked everything? Oh no, you've been dry heaving for the past five minutes. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> this is a fan fave. Complete silence is a successful one. Pardon me. Very. The comfort of the screaming. I feel so bad for Bundle. I, I feel so bad, too. I feel bad for anyone who lives in Alabama. Remember, we're still on Twitch. Hi, Alabamans. Turns to dust? Isn't that just normal? You're right, Pawn. <laughs> Alright, so lunch! Lunch! Lunch then bathhouse. Lunch then bathhouse. Right. And all the magical creatures in the land disappeared. No! I got to that first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll get inspiration for that reaction. Hey! Why are you mad at me? You believed it! <laughs> And that's why I'm so <laughs> mad. <laughs> Beware the wrath of an angry god, sinner. <laughs> what is a god to a man? Turn is like, what is a man to a non-believer? You did that wrong. <laughs> yeah. I did. I did. That's exactly what I, I, I don't I believe meant, it, man. I meant to do that. Anyway. I meant to do that. Anyway, so that mean ignoring that, my uh, complete fail. Does that mean that I don't get to go to the zoo? Anyway. Oh. Um. Mm. What is that? Uh, lunch today is a series of sourdough breads covered in cheese with jams on the Ooh. side. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Um, nom, nom, nom. Yeah, basically cheesy toast. Um, nom, 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 nom. Why cheesy toast and not grilled cheese? No, no, it's like a, it's like garlic bread with like cheese on top. Yeah, like that type. It's like it's like herbed bread with cheese smothered all uh, over the it. the bane, the bane of every vampire. With with with, with creams and uh, jams on the side. You can choose some apricot. Uh, Lingonberry and uh Ling Lingonberry and uh fig. Yeah. L let Bundle know when he's stopped dry heaving his guts out. Oh yeah, you're you're better. You you wander out and you see just everyone else like everyone wants some food Food Food. It's time for food. Brooding. He has to get at least eight hours of brooding in per mm. day. Or else Bundle, why are you trying to prove your wisdom? I mean, Rania. 
I'm trying to figure out whether or not Rania is going to continue to uh, distrust the paved food or not. <laughs> I don't know, it looks fine enough. We're not dead yet, are we? Yeah, I mean, we haven't been poisoned. That's a bit. I mean, Dirk would never poison us. Dirk's frozen, smiling face is in the corner. Mm. Hey, I love Dirk. Seriously, he's the best. Why don't you take the bite of the toast? It's cheesy. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh D Dash will actually take a gulp of his food and look to Dirk. Oh, mm. you wouldn't happen to. There wouldn't happen to be people around here interested in contests of strength, uh, would there? I guarantee you most things that are of fairy would probably beat you in strength. I'm, I'm asking Dirk. Dirk looks to the gnomes, looks to you, looks to the gnomes, looks to Selye, who is exiting, looks to you. Oof. Yeah, not really big on the strength. Nah, no one, no one's a fan of arm wrestling. Nah. Fair enough. No pawn. Chop liver. Tell you still mad at Dirk. All right, arm wrestle to you before Talik. I want to try arm wrestle other people. Damn, now I feel hurt. <laughs> well, damn, I feel. Dash well, has Dash broken. Dash has, Dash has broken up with with the Talik officially. I just need to arm wrestle <laughs> other people. Oh, the ship, the ship is dead. Come on. Like, we'll come on, Talek, that was only one time. I'm <laughs> trying to get something special. I'm oh. gonna find this random, this random rule, rule 34 art of a bunny and a dragon. I'm like, hey, that ship is dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just fucked us all day and I. <laughs> no, just dash. No. Uh. Um, and no, for your for your information, pawn the serving plates do not have Dirk's face on them. Aww. <laughs> so Talik has cross dressed in this picture. Oh, shut up! <laughs> ah, stop it already! Oh God! <laughs> does it exa does it actually? Are you kidding? <laughs> you are That's so fired. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Bundle of run is fired. But wait, <laughs> they're still yelling. <laughs> Bundle, no. Bundle, no. Uh, you just have to yell it louder than them. Assert your dominance. Don't actually do that. Do that. Two pose on the food. Two pose on them. Deneb, stop it. Okay. So as Dash is done eating, he'll just wait for. Peliana to finish. And so then he'll the strip. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what? Time for us to indulge in mix. Right? <laughs> oh, God. It's official. We're all gonna die. Oh, we're all gonna go to hell. We're gonna go to hell. Well, here we are. Oh, boy. Here I go. <laughs> Here I go, memeing again. <laughs> so yeah, it's it the the toast is quite cheesy, quite filling. Uh, you actually only feel oh rather God. full after only two but after only two servings. Like, oh, oh God! God. Like, oh God! This bread is so fucking delicious. Mmm, <laughs> bread. But yeah, it's it's a pretty good meal. Uh, bundle still sitting off in the corner, like oh, forget, forget. Uh, I can talk now, maybe. Yay! Yay! Stop it! No. It's only heavy metal and bundles background. <laughs> I'm gonna start deleting this from BS Deneb. No! You're cute. Do it. It's only funny the first time. I opened my fucking mouth once. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, so the meal's pretty good. Bundle watches across the room as everyone masticates and chews on... And his stomach's like, I wish I could have food. Oh. No one forced you to eat that berry. 
Get ready to drop your own volition. I'm not going to get anything to eat. A bit of cheese There's flies out of his mouth and lands on the ground. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, Bundle. As soon as that wears off, I have a bunch of good berries for you. I also have good berries prepared for a spell I slot. I think Bundle's trying to say something. Oh, okay. And you're on. You're 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 out of sync. Lag, 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 lag. How's it going, pal? Everything's going good. Mm. Going to school tomorrow, so that's great. Woo. If today is tomorrow, like a holiday of some sort. Oh no! I uh, oh no! I'm on winter break. Yeah. Wait. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Southern Hemisphere. Yeah, Southern Hemisphere. It's winter there. I keep forgetting. Yep. You're like what? Okay, so bundles <laughs> are any better on your end? Okay. There we go. Yay! If he's, still, if he's still under the effects of silence, he's just gonna shake his head. No. Nope, he's not. He's not okay. It only lasts for one minute, and you are away for at least four. Okay. Well then, he just says, not, "Not interested in eating right now. I just need to clear my mind." He says as he takes out his deck of cards and starts playing. Well, he starts practicing his blackjack against himself. Fifty-two card pickup, it is. <laughs> and uh, a fellow to Derek, to Derek, a wonderful, uh, a wonderful lunch as always. Seriously, this uh, this food is so good. Bows his head politely with his with his hands in the pyramid pose. Mmm. I think it's because I've been having good berries for this entire thing. <laughs> snaps his snaps his fingers. A gnome appears with a little crystalline glass filled with purple liquid again. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> an in pops well, in the head of the. Ate, yeah, I was about to. Dash is about to say, would it that make Celia angrier at you, Dirk? <laughs> Celia's head peers in around the corner, like big eyes. Like, mm. You can always share the glass. Wouldn't you sell you like a that could be kind of hot. The I mean... No, <laughs> you fucker. No. Celia <laughs> so runs over, steals the glass from you, runs out. <laughs> <laughs> I Jesus Christ! That makes that must be some really good stuff. Yeah. Oh, it is. It is. Uh, huh. I feel like a. Enough to make uh, the leader of the guard of the Veil Keep to scurry about like one of the rat folk? Jeez. Is that racist against rat folk? Yes. Is racist against elves? <laughs> yes. I don't you said think that, it is. You said that aloud, didn't you? Okay. Two marks. No. Oh. No. Two marks against the party so far. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, to the bathhouse, Dash? To the bathhouse. To the bathhouse! Yes. Let us perform the ancient rite of nudity. Not you! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that exchange should go. <laughs> Wait, is he, uh, is he trying to seduce the bard? This is so backwards. What? The pawn's asking about uh, oh, Dirk. No. <laughs> I uh, I tried a long time ago. I haven't used the uh, Felion for like months. Ever since I found out how old she actually is. Jesus. I'm 24. Character is 24. I'm 17. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Denim, stop it. The character age is different than the player. To the bathhouse! To the bathhouse desk? Yes, to the bathhouse. To the bathhouse. I'm still sure it's illegal. <laughs> Not you! I love, I, I love this page so much. If I'm ever having a bad thing, I just. just look at it. 
<laughs> That's the first yeah. time it's had this much action in a while. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. yeah. Dash your I, belly on ahead to the bathhouse, I'm guessing. I said, I said engage, not exchange. But I will. Wait, yeah. what'd you say? I said engage, not exchange. Okay, I'll fix it. Anyway. Mario follows, and looks if there's a zoo somewhere that Mario could go to. Dirk just looks you confused and horrified. Like, eh. What? There's no zoos around here? You, you, you don't, don't, like, um, have animals around here to, like, say hi to you and, like, hang out with? It's the Fae Wild. They go where they wish. <laughs> isn't, isn't the Fae Wild basically fantasy Australia? Yeah, this, uh, this technically <laughs> shouldn't be the Fae Wild. This is a veiled keep, should it? The Fae Wild is a completely different dimension, isn't it? I think they're. I think what they're saying, the Veiled Keep is in the Feywild, and what they're saying is they don't keep animals captive. Um, this is in the mortal uh, plane, isn't it? Shouldn't it be? We'll probably find out when we leave the Feywild. The Veiled Keep. It's it's also Brett's world. It works how he wants it to work. Mine, all mine. Mine. Uh, anyway. So, nah. Okay. It's Australia. Off I go to, um, uh, to indulge in bathing. Creep on Dash and Peliana. I wasn't gonna say, I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. And then sure, Jenna was Jack. put on a list. Uh... <laughs> Maybe some, welcome to the uh, gang. Welcome to the dang. The gang joins the registry episode of uh, the Dynamics of <laughs> Evil. <laughs> Riley is going to go in and indulge in finding out just how beautiful the women, the Fey women, are. You do realize oh. it's it's only for the hospitality section. It's not actually for the. the okay, whatever. You dashed uh, my dreams. All right, you guys. You guys get to the bathhouse, and it's fairly empty except for a few gnomes walking around in a uh, uh, very tight loincloths, extraordinarily tight loincloths. Huh. Why the fuck are they so tight loincloths? <laughs> at least one of them. At least one of them seems to have a four pack. So, oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive for a gnome. But yeah, you and you and Dash get comfortable. Rania enters and is just there. He is. <laughs> He's there. Yes. And thus, as I get into the ch oh. all of his glory, he goes into the bathroom. As you look around for more of that fey shampoo. And there's there's various bottles and like siphons and stuff. Yeah. I swear to God, I'm going to be. Uh, uh, I'm going to find a way to. It's the last thing I do. So. Sounds like since... we're gonna be. Go ahead. It's been a while since. Is, uh, since we had, had, had a proper had a proper bath, you're lagging out. Though. Your paddle. Fuck. Mm. What about now? Good. Better. Nice. Yes. Is that, okay, it's been a while since uh, since we had, we had a proper bath. I'm glad we can't now. I'm glad we have this opportunity now. What's up, bundle? What? I heard Bumble try to say something. What's up? Hello? Yay! They finally, apparently, the yelling people have finally left. <sighs> Am I missing <laughs> something? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so it fell. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, no, it's okay. No. You're good. Yeah, one's probably. 
gonna be a while before we can have a chance to relax again because I don't know what our plans are but I'd like to get to the to Redport as soon as possible yeah did you manage to find uh, I heard that you managed to find something out about possibly your sister or the, the fish cartel Vith cartel Vith cartel sorry Damn it! I don't have the. All right, now I have it. Put you can just down. call them the Steelborn. The Steelborn. All right. Yes, it's Draconic for Steelborn, and Dash would have shared this info. Thank you. Good all job. right, now it's I have to look. Well, as you heard during the meeting, I have to look for a human woman named Vaughn. Vaughn. I don't think I've ever heard that name before. Have I? Nah. I'd never heard that name before. Oh. <laughs> I guess I haven't. <laughs> She's, well, neither have I, but... Hoping... Um, hoping trying to find her won't be a mistake. It won't. I mean, I'm trying to do basically the same. Although, instead of my family being in Redport... They're in doom, apparently. Which, from everything I've gathered, doom sounds like it might be the next stop for me after Redboard as well. Well, if we're lucky, I can. I know some. Uh, I know a couple people in Redport. Maybe they might help us. Maybe. Well, Meanwhile, out in the out in the lobby with uh, Talik and Bundle. Yeah, yeah you, did come, you guys didn't come with us, Talik. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, we went to the bathhouse. To the bathhouse. Oh, I was there, just like uh, swimming around, kind of ruining the cinematic scene between Dash again and and Feliana. Just in the every around. every three sentences, Ryan just cuts down the middle and like, hi. This doesn't See, laugh. See, interrupting just... Grania. <laughs> <laughs> well, the interrupting couch, the interrupting half. I can't wait till Dingo Pictures gets back to me about the animating this shit. <laughs> <laughs> wait, they got. Did you... I'm pretty sure he's joking. He's joking. I know, but if if it was real, if it was real. Hey, we're getting a swell deal on this animation. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not good films. <laughs> God damn it, Rania. <laughs> Anyways, to the Talik and Bundle lobby. <laughs> Alright. Bundle still, you know, dealing with his cards. Trying to get his mind off of the situation is gone from... Um, I'm trying... Trying to do stuff for the and now it's turned into I'm trying to do something the right thing to do, but this stupid girl doesn't know what bull crap she's in. And, and so now he... oh. I'm just Talik's just sitting there being quiet. Hmm. He's a good listener. The two that were there from the beginning that made a deal in the first place are the same. Right. That like looks so bundle. I can't believe we walked into this crazy adventure of a trap. I was kidding. Hmm? <laughs> What? What's what's that side hand check for, Bundle? Hmm? You you mentioned it. I don't know what that side of hand check is for. You mentioned it. <laughs> I was making a joke. It's not a joke today. It's confusing. <laughs> okay, please stop, Denip. Sorry. I thought I muted myself. 
Alright, so, what the hell's going on out in the lobby, if anything? Meanwhile, an hour of rest. Does anyone hear him? There we go. There we go. It keeps going in and out, so I'm typing everything. It's oh, going okay, on. he was messing with his deck. Okay, I was like, Jesus, oh, jeez. Yeah, you're not, you're not stump. You, you miss, like, one card every, like, 20 card flips you do, but it's like, uh, yeah, you just, you haven't broken it in half yet, so there's that. But he's, he's essentially just trying to do this to keep calm. And not want to, and not try and strangle the count countess. Uh, Talik's just sitting on the other side of the table, just, just shaking his head, you know, thinking of all the crap we went through. I'm surprised you're not off going and cavorting like everybody else is, Bumble says as he picks up another card that uh, slipped out of the deck. Uh, the way how I see it, Bundle, you need somebody to vent to, and I'm all ears for you, man. Oh, I don't need to vent. I need oh, something shit. to shoot. What kind of bundle shooting? But I'm not there. Oh, do you require an archery range? Says Dirk from behind the from behind the counter. I was kidding. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's been there the entire time. Why are you so scared? This man has everything. He I thought he looks... was somewhere else for a second. Wait, is there anything on Dirk's desk? I mean, there's like a little uh, elven like physics thing where it's like moving crystals back and forth, seeming seemingly of its own volition. Um, the moment he asks about the archery range, I want to see if I can flick a card hard enough and straight enough to knock a crystal. Okay. Don't do it, Bundle. Please don't. Oh no, he's doing this to make a point. But... Mm, what, what do I roll? Slide of hand? Slide of hand. I so can't. how many times can we fuck up before Ooh. we go to the wrath of something? I don't know. Well, if we f uh, uh, fuck up, I'm probably gonna have to... Uh, this, yeah, you the... you toss the uh, card in between two of the crystalline structures. Like, oh, uh, are you saying anything as you do this, or are you just doing it? As soon as it hits the mark I want it, I say, hmm. I guess I could still use a little bit more practice. Damn. Well, it just so happens that the guard that the guard sector actually does have an active shooting. In it gallery in case you wanted to test it out um you would have you would not be giving your own stuff you would only be able to borrow the guard stuff and you would not be able to it basically it will obey the safety precautions and uh don't try and intimidate the guards they they will uh in incur you uh, uh impress you into service if you met if you uh get testy well seeing as how i don't have have the have the need to show off the right now. No. Just get rusty on. Do you, do you mind typing that out? <laughs> God damn it! Sure. Where do I go? Let's play this tip. Did you hear me? Huh? Damn it. I said, sure. Where do I go to the archery lane? Uh, just head down and out and straight. And eventually you'll turn left and uh, you'll meet up with uh, either Z Zekker or... Uh, let me see, who's the other one who's on duty? Oh. It'll probably be Folius. It'll be either Zachar or Folius who will be on guard right now. Um, uh, they're both they're both pretty okay. Um, as long as you explain to them what you're doing, you'll they they, sh they should be able to accommodate. Hmm. 
March, 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 March. Yeah, Talek yeah. follows along with Bundle. I was March, about to March, say, Talek starts March, singing. March, 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 March. Oh, by myself. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, lady. <laughs> <in> the background. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I like how you can hear that better than you can hear me. I don't know why. I blame McDonald's and their questionable Wi Fi plan. Seriously. I blame the government for stealing away your power. So here's the thing if we ruin really a tap. So here's the thing: if we get three more, if we we get three marks, who has ruined the ta uh, uh Does the person who gets the point for who ruined the tavern slash in uh, in the person who did the most marks, or uh, or every person that that did a mark? I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to keep tally of this. Hmm. <laughs> I Almost like it's dangerous thing. or something. Mm. How long do we have to stay here? I think this will be the last night we're here. Or do we have to stay a whole Oh yeah, night? you guys will be kicked out tomorrow, says one of the one of the gnomes with Dirk's voice. Oh God! I mean, I kind of figured we were leaving tomorrow anyway, so I'm not really surprised here. Same here. You didn't get all this stuff back, right? What was that? I'm gonna get all the stuff back, right? Yeah, I'd assume so. Same okay. here. Especially if we're gonna be serving as emissaries. Also, Dirk Gnome, uh, do we have to stay in the same room that I chose to be, uh, in the beginning to stay in? If you would like to change your accommodations, just come back to the lobby and we can make quick arrangements within an hour. Cool. Sure. Yep. Yeah, meanwhile, bundle you you make it out to the guard post, and uh, uh, Folius meets you. This time he's a he's a gray elf with a uh, with little uh, green markings on his skin. He's just hey, yeah, yes, I hear just stab, uh, just uh, yeah, just don't uh, don't uh, shoot any of the wisps. It's uh, considered uh, bad omens, and uh, yeah, just uh, put it back when you're done with it. Fair enough. Uh, what am I shooting at? Uh, uh you he shows you to the the training post, and it's just basically a uh, uh, long range uh, basic targets. The list of worth twenty points. Is they're moving targets. Uh, right. he shows you Do a mechanism I... that actually does. It get them moving, or at least moves them farther away. Okay. Seeing that, what, what is he going to use as his uh, bow and ammunition? Uh, the, the, they they offer you up some uh, a long bow and a uh, and a small uh, quiver of arrows, about ten arrows worth. Okay. Are these any different than he's used to? These are brown and green arrows. Uh, green shafts, brown feathers, and brown points. Huh. Well, then he's going to... Do, Upper arrows. He's, he's going to study the arrows for a second, get a feel for the actual... Pull the drawstring to test it. And then once he gets a good feel for it, He's gonna take several shots while making the target move backwards. Okay. So first shot. That nat twenty though. Yeah, it, oh. it's, it sinks into the to the end of the shaft. <laughs> Second yeah. shot. It hits. Third shot. Mm, outside of center this time, it's more just. Yeah, it's on like the second outer ring. And then last shot. 
you kind of over you kind of overcorrect and it actually just sinks in right be- right in front of it. it doesn't even quite reach the target Tyler uh, looks at bundle man could have used you back in the army you wouldn't make uh, me like of a sniper you guys wouldn't have kept me he says as he takes another shot I don't know I was a part of a squad a uh, crew that would <laughs> Always had good fun while we done our missions. Yeah, you, you sink that one into the stand that it's resting on. Like there's like a big old like uh, stick holding up the target, and you sink it into that stick. Tyler, stop distracting me. This time, before taking the shot, he's gonna do the thing that Kira told him, told him to do with to relax. He's mm-hmm. gonna take a deep. He's gonna take a deep breath. Breathe in, breathe out, and rather than focusing on trying to hit it, he's just going to focus on the form of him actually trying to make the shot. Mm-hmm. All right, that one that one makes it on. It's not quite center, but it's like a, it's like halfway between center and the edge. Right, Closer. So not, uh, he looks back to Catalic. I'm not quite as consistent as I would, as I would like to be. Ah, it doesn't matter. Even if the Amazi got them all scattering apart, it would make the job even easier. Uh, that one hits clo- hits closer to center, like almost perfect center. And I guess just like me not being able to nail it every single time. My judgment calls have been suffering from the same lack of accuracy. Yeah, that's why we have trainers back in the military. You miss, they swat you for it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, it's not like I have a personal life trainer right now. Uh. Wide. Yeah, that one you you hit up top. Where it's like just barely on target, but really it's it like it like crochets it like a safety pin on top. Okay, at this point he's gonna put down the bow and stretch a bit. <sighs> I guess I got my work cut out for me going to all these damn forts, but it's what I signed up to do and I aim to do it. Wasn't sure if Talek was gonna say anything else. Ah. I really don't know what to say to Bundle. <laughs> Sounds like we should time skip ahead a little bit. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, you, he's just gonna reconvene with everybody else. Yeah, yeah you, you finish up your things. Uh, Rania, you're still awkwardly watching Dash and Fell just to have a conversation while you constantly like do your laps in between them every once in a while. <laughs> Don't mind me. Splash, 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 splash. Dash is gonna like try to splash you, Rania, away. What do I roll to splash <laughs> Rania? Um, you, you splash him. He's like, ah, brr, brr, brr. Uh, Rania dips under the water. He, uh, uh, how big is the bathing area, by the way? It's about six foot deep. Huh. Rania's going to turn into a reef shark. Uh, I don't think he can. Roll a con check with disadvantage. Oh god, I was wondering what would happen if I tried. Ah, that's a sixteen. All right, you form into a very, very small shark. Yeah. Uh, Like a foot long. Mm. What? <laughs> Only a foot long! Huh. Welcome to the Veiled Keep, Rania, which has been fucking with your magic literally this whole time. This is a you, you should have learned by now. Nah, I knew. Oh well. Uh, he swims around uh, Dash again, uh, like, uh, like projecting into his mind the theme for Jaws. Duh, Dash, yeah. fl- Dash will flick him in the snout. <laughs> uh, 
I know your weakness. Yeah, my nose, my only weakness. Shuck. How would you know that? I don't know. <laughs> it seems like a good know. target, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Rhino still has its advantage and everything, so I'll roll with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think we should probably regroup with the others here soon. Yeah, yeah I think it's almost time. Yeah. It's a regroup. Dash. Yep, Dash will help fill in on all the bath if she needs it. Nah, she's good. Rhino flops out of the bathtub. Oh no! Oh look! Now he can't breathe. <laughs> Help! I'm dying. <laughs> Don't do anything. Mean? Squirtle. I'm the gnome lifeguard walks <laughs> over and pokes him. <laughs> <laughs> can do anything a fish can do. Flopping up and down. Help! I'm dying. <laughs> Why do you transform back into his naked halfling form? Ah! <laughs> ah! Ronnie gets up. He pokes a gnome. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> ah. Whoa! What just happened? Oh god. He just smacks him. <laughs> Ow! Hey, poke me. No touching the goods. <laughs> That's me, <laughs> Yeah. Fine. That, that was me, Ronnie. <laughs> Oh, okay. Anyway, Monday gets up, goes to get dressed, heads back to the lobby. Alright, so you all reconvene at roughly the same time, and, uh... Let me see. Uh, Dirk actually introduces you to... a, uh young elven girl whose name is is Tana and Tana. she pulls out a uh, basically a 3D game of checkers and offers to teach you guys how to play it sure while waiting oh, okay. oh I'd love to learn yeah. intelligence checks alright watch I'm about to roll on that one <laughs> watch you uh, close enough. Fifteen. I am not the brightest of cookies. Bundle Phil and Talk, you guys are kind of getting the hang of it. Uh, Rania, you were kind of disinterested. Uh, Dash is kind of struggling with the concept. Like, 3D? What is this crap? What black sorcery is this? <laughs> <laughs> and after a couple of hours, you guys play a few games and, uh... Uh... We should Bundle. roll to see who, who gets the most wins. Bundle is trying to uh, draw Tana out of her shell with like some card tricks and dice tricks, and she's not buying it in the least. <laughs> uh, oh. And after about a couple of hours, there's a an entry into the lobby, and you guys look behind you, and there is this brown-faced, shock-of-red-haired elf man with uh, like a little uh, Errol Flynn type mustache of like bright orange and he enters this what elf? And says, hello I'm the, I'm the negotiator and we're going to end the session right there negotiator uh. I'm the negotiator oh the negotiator the Ah. 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 